Being amazing, appreciate it. Uh, I'm a busy, a man, a man So, Daryl, what should I major in in college? That's going to depend on what you want to do for a career, my friend. Start there.
What's going on, y'all? Good to see you. Happy Wednesday. We are here today on a bit of a detour, as you can see below. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. It's bringing me to some good places. And uh, I thought just one time I need to stream this because I'm probably going to have this game finished by the time next week comes around. Uh, between that and being a little bit stressed because we're going to have some bad weather here lately, uh, here, some bad weather here shortly, I am uh, I'm going to do this today. We'll go a little off track and then we'll be back on. We, we will start Danganronpa 2 next week because that was what was voted in last week. Um, but how you guys doing? Let me read out the chat. Not, not too many people here today. It might be kind of a, a more chill stream. We got Fernan. What's going on? We got Curtis Jensen. Good to see you, Curtis. Yes, I have I, I think she finally did cool off. Um, Dead Sea being amazing. Uh, Amabzi. I'm trying. To, first time chat. I'm trying to make sure I get that name right. Amabzi. How's it going? Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Without further ado, we're gonna play some Pokemon. It's time. We'll look at stream. Sierra. Oh, Sierra, don't talk to me after last week. I can't look at you the same. <laughs> I have such a newfound respect for you, Sierra. After, after the absolute. Um, evisceration of all of our souls last week in Smash. I, I, I was so salty from that. I, I have never in my entire streaming career been so eviscerated, so humiliated, so absolutely manhandled on a stream before. But last week, I think I made, maybe played a total of seven, maybe eight games of Smash between y'all and with Jesse. I didn't win a single one. The next day I went online and I played some Smash with uh, just like in ranked. And I just remembered how to play. <laughs> I just remembered how to play. I was like, no, 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 no. Because yeah, I'm actually kind of good at Smash. Like a lot of those games I should have won. There was some where like I was probably not going to beat Sierra. Maybe I would have got a game off of them eventually, but <sighs> pain. Yeah, so. Or whatever pronouns, it's, yeah. Sorry, exactly. Sarah's is going on. Frozen Peaches, good to see you. Tony Pony, good to see you guys here. It is uh, and Vague Type finally first stream. Welcome, Vague Type. How you doing? We are. Um, we last week we did a little bit of Smash to recap. If you weren't here last week. Last week we did a little bit of Smash, and that was during our tournament arc. So every every time we finish a game, what we do is we have a tournament of all the potential games that we could play next. We pick the next series and then we go to it. Um, and last week it was very close between doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke, which I have never done a Nuzlocke before, and Dongarampa. There were some other games in there, of course, that didn't make the finals, but Dongarampa 2 ended up winning. So we'll be back on Dongarampa 2 next week. Should be a lot of fun. Um, Sarah says it probably helped that you didn't play a single game against someone who wasn't the current best in the lobby. That's probably true. Yeah, that, that, that's probably true. It was, um, it was very King of the Mountain, wasn't it? You know, but... Next time we do a smash thing like that, we may we may mix it up so that, like if you get three wins in a row, you score a point, and then you go to the back of the line and you just try to accumulate points. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do something like that next time. E faces. I got so many alpha Pokemon's. Yeah, I've been catching them a lot of those too. Um, I've been killing a lot of them because I my skill in catching Pokemon as this game has progressed has sort of died on. So if you haven't played this yet. This will spoil locations. It shouldn't spoil any story because I've got it. I've got it set to where it's it, it shouldn't reveal like what is going on. It's just going to be a location, and I'm just going to catch, try to catch some stuff. I haven't been to this area yet, so it should be fun. Next time for person free for all. I, I agree. That'd be Diesel. Um, so here I am. This is a little me in the game. Let me make sure. Actually, yeah, let me get some audio. Yeah, something something for me, and then you guys should be able to hear it fine. Uh, we had some audio issues last week. I think I may have figured out what that was with the switch and nothing else. You guys should be able to hear. But I agree. We should do a four-person free-for-all in the near future for Smash because that is weirdly fun. I think I get more enjoyment out of the one-on-one -on -one matchups because of the psychology and the conditioning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the four-way matches do just, you know, provide a lot of shenanigans. So I have, um, just show you guys kind of where I'm at and what I've got. I, actually, let me just go out here because that'll kind of... Uh, oh, okay, so I guess I'm going up here now. Sweet. And I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to take this off screen. The only thing I don't want to spoil is the plot, which is not that that's really all that important. It's Pokemon. It's not like it's, you know, the Odyssey. This is pretty. I think I'll show you all this. Okay, so this is where we're about to be. Coordinate Highlands. Have not been here yet before. Yet and before, that's redundant. All right, and then I'll just I'll keep this off screen so you guys don't get spoiled if you want to watch this. Um, okay, so he's telling me what kind of Pokemon are going to be around. And 
Mount Coronet is up there. I won't tell you why I'm here. Okay, cool. We're free. Now we're good. How was that? Easy. Did you get any shinies? I did get shinies. So let me show you the shinies I got. I'm not using them, unfortunately, because I'm not... Uh, I'm not super duper into them. Like, they're not shinies I was going to ever use. So I got a Krikatoon uh, as a shiny and as an alpha. That was, that was really... I was on my last Pokemon. I think I maybe had two turns until he killed me. And I finally got him. So uh, got the Krikatoon. That was a nice catch. That nice little find. And I got a Stunky. Uh, which, again, cool that they're shiny. <laughs> but I don't... I have no desire for Pepe Le Pew right here to be in, in, my, uh, in my party. You feel me? But... This game is very cool. I am I'm having a delightful time. And I know everyone is playing this, but I thought I'm gonna finish this game really soon. I'd better actually get in here and play it one time on stream before I finish it. Just to say I was part of everybody that did it. And like I say, we'll get to Dunga Rapper 2 next week. Um okay, let's see what's on here, man. By show of hands, who all has uh who all has picked this one up already? Who is playing this? Who wants to play this? Let's see, we got these boys over here. I see already, I have, like, I think I have, hang on. Yeah, I got everything I need for him. Let's see, let's see, let's see what I might be good on, too. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, yeah, I got him, too. No, I'm trying to get all the uh, Pokedex stuff done because I want to get the shiny charm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually might would want to do shiny hunt in the future. I've never done that before. But I kind of want to. Is this what the no the nose pass of all form looks like? Why does he have a pine cone mustache? I don't remember that at all. Fake Times has, play has been playing. Very nice. How far are you into it? I think I'm maybe I'm over. I'm definitely over half way done with this. Just Pokemon games is the Game Boy Advance and we're doing this one. Yeah, you know, I was talking to my buddies the other day about it. Um, I'm having so much fun with this. This is the first time since maybe, maybe since Black and White that I was really just enchanted by a Pokemon game. I'm having so much fun. It is an absolute blast. Uh, the gameplay, the gameplay loop I've heard some people say is repetitive, which I can see how you would, how you feel that way. Um, because it is a, a, a doing a lot of the same stuff over and over. Um, but you want to do that, you know? Or at least me. I think it, it's repetitive that you don't actually want to be doing it. And there's a lot of checklists in this game. But again, I don't mind the checklist because what they're asking me to do, I'm already out here to do. Like, what I want to do is, is run around and catch Pokemon and battle sun, etc., etc. And a lot of the goals are like, hey, can you bring me a Pokemon? Can you bring me the completed page? Like, stuff that I'm already going to be doing, you know? Yeah, I'm good on this one. Um, stuff I'm going to be already be doing anyways. So I don't mind the whole checklist thing. I'm completely at peace with it. What do we have over here? We have a rock. This game is a little ugly, though. There, <laughs> there are times when it is... Uh, it is questionable. In its frame rate and its appearance. It's crazy that here we are in 2020 and this somehow does not look as good as like Wind Waker. My ADHD brain loves checklists for that very reason. Exactly, yeah. It's like I, I am motivated by, by getting this done, you know. Yeah. My biggest problem in this game that I keep, um, I run into Pokeballs too fast. <laughs> I just want to catch everything. I haven't seen anything here yet that's really been something I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay, I haven't seen that. The Yamna of all form. So let's see. Maybe I can catch him slipping. Turn around. Turn around. If you haven't played this, there is a, uh, a little bonus bonus, but it, yeah, that. You, if, you throw it, if you throw it from behind, it'll give you a little edge. Make it a little bit easier to catch them. Which I like. Uh, and like, I was skeptical when I watched the trailer of this. Um, Mr. Glaro. What's going on, Mr. Glaro? Mr. Glaro? Uh, I was skeptical when I watched the trailer of this because 
I thought it was going to be almost like Pokemon Go, and it was just like aimless catching, which it kind of is, but somehow it just works differently here in the game because you're, there's sneak. Like whenever you're in, when you're playing um, Pokemon Go in the real world, you just kind of like found a thing, flick the thumb, you know, it just kind of is that on repeat. But um, with this, like, since you're actually in the world and you're in danger, it just adds a certain level of, uh, I guess, risk reward. It has a certain level of greediness to it. But I'm a big fan. Chill evening, Pokemon catch it going well. It is. It really is. I'm having a great time with this game. Uh, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this. This is a little thing, but it is pretty cool. The notice me? notice me. Uh, if you, so the main town, uh, what is it, Jubilife Town or whatever? Have you tried Food Strat? I don't know that I have. But the main town, uh, I remember thinking when I started the game that the music for the main town was like too minimal, like there just wasn't going on. Uh, there just wasn't much going on in the, in the main town as far as the music goes. And I was just like, this is kind of just the same like little beat on repeat. But I realized, as the game progresses and you do, you do things, it does like Terry Town and Breath of the Wild, and like every time you add something to the environment, or every time you help out a villager, or every time, basically as the game progresses and you know, the town feel a little bit more like home, the music accompanies that, so it adds instruments to it. So it has that sort of, uh, the bar down, pretty much. Right out of Breath of the Wild, as it did a lot of things. And he says, uh, you have to admit it's, uh, you have to admit it's uglier than a fridge from behind. The, the environment, yeah, uh, I agree. There, there are certain times where you're just, like, gross. But the Pokemon models are good. Um, there are certain times where I look at it and I'm like, well, that's kind of nice. You know, it looks good. But it could look at it. Just did one or two things different. I, uh... Now, that, another thing I like about this is that you're actually immortal. Like, you can't just tank everything. Uh, Pokemon will hurt you. I feel like everything has a really defense in this game somehow. But I love, yeah, I love the new, uh, the new type of Here, thank you so much for following me. Let's do... The Skybox is top tier? Why is it not computing? What do you mean the skybox? Is that, is that a location? Kind of Am I just being dumb right now? <laughs> the hitboxes in this game are silly. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but like if I try to, if I try to like throw this ball, I'll just throw something that's not. If I try to throw this, clearly it's not gonna hit the tree, right? It hits the tree. The, the hitboxes somehow are bigger than they should be. I saw something earlier that apparently it's just like whenever you throw a Pokeball out, when you throw a Pokeball out, uh, for like your Pokemon to interact with something. So like if I can find uh, like that, that, like this over here, this is a interactable object, which is cool because I can throw my Pokemon, like no matter where I'm at, I can just, I, if I can throw it far enough, I can like activate that one across the road or, uh, or across the river. So this is interactable. The trees are also interactable. So someone was saying like they made the hitboxes on the trees a little bit bigger, so that the Pokemon would know what you were talking about when you threw it, whenever you threw it that direction. Oh my god, we're about to get jumped. The sky looks nice. Yeah, the sky, the sky does look pretty nice. Is the game audio too loud? I'll turn it down. No problem. Let's try that. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, I had to change some audio settings in my stream labs because uh, it's, I definitely realized after Dark Souls, there was something I could do to make it better. Because uh, before it had almost had like a weird echo. Sounds good now, perfect. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. When, I, when that happens, y'all just say something. <laughs> Don't be shy. It took me uh, less than a, a second to fix that. Super duper easy. I'm disappointed in this area so far. It's very pretty, very nice. Hate this frame, because I took damage, but that's my fault. Uh, 
But I'm not seeing anything like in this area that I haven't kind of already come across. Bit of a bum bum. Yeah, so this tree, right? The hitbox on this tree, let's see. Clearly, if I throw it here, then it's gonna get it's gonna hit the tree. But if I throw it here, shouldn't miss, right? But if I do that, it's still gonna it's still gonna hit. So I'm thinking that's how it goes. Uh, I like how uh, Big Ty says I love how fast you can throw it and then walk away. Yes, straight up. I have done I've done a weird thing where like a Pokemon a Pokemon was run. Let's say this is an interactable tree, right? A Pokemon was running after me. I threw the ball over their head to the tree and then kept running, and it still counted. It. Like they're it's just cool that you can do that. Like I, that was not something that they could have possibly advertised as a feature, just the way that that was going to unfold. Or that it was so customizable, not, not I want to say customizable, that it was so open to doing how you want, you know? But I am uh, continually, continually impressed with this. This is a nice little bridge, you know? Not everything about that. Oh, that's right, I, have, I, have, I can swim. Hang on, what am I doing? There's little things in the game I wish others would incorporate. Yeah, so I can say... Oh, so many good ideas with this. It's really just the polish that is kind of missing. But, um, like I say, it's fun. But the bottom line is, regardless of how ugly it is, regardless of uh, any any bad thing you can say about it, it's just fun. They made Pokemon, yeah, it feels like a horror game. It really does, in a lot of ways. Grab that. Oh, so like, okay, so here's the thing. I want to get that up there. I've never seen this before, so can throw a Pokemon up there to get it? No. Do I have to have a flying Pokemon to do that? Caesar can fly. Can you get it, buddy? No? Okay. Not sure what to do about that one. Yeah, exactly. As far as the Breath of the Wild thing goes. Because they could have just... You know, and there are, there are things like... I feel like every Breath of the Wild type now is just going to have... Uh, you know, a nice little... <laughs> A nice little diamond deposit at every corner that you have to break with something. They have that here. They have that in Breath of the Wild. They have that in Genshin Impact. Like, it is it is a staple of this overworld thing. For whatever reason. And, um... But, yeah, to see... One thing... But the, thing, the difference here is, like, since you don't have a weapon... It's not Breath of the Wild, right? Uh, it's not Genshin. Since you don't have a weapon, you, you're not attacking it yourself. You just send out a Pokemon to go do it for you. It's just so stinking convenient and fun. I don't know. I'm a big fan. Is it starting to snow on me here? Let me get up here. Grab this bad boy. Oh man, this doesn't look really interesting happened to me today, guys. Um, I, when I make Psych of Play, I edit all the episodes in Lightworks. A lot of people edit in um, Adobe Premiere. Some people use, um, what's the other one? Uh, not Picasso, but what's it called? It's got the, the Renaissance artist, DaVinci Resolve. So I've seen uh, people use a lot of different stuff. I use something called Lightworks, which is a very like obscure kind of editing software. Not a lot of people know it exists, much less use it. Um, but I like it a lot, and I've been using it for years on end. So I finally broke down and bought the... Um, I've been like, you have to renew the license every year, you know? I, I finally broke down and was just like, well, I'm, I'm renewing this every year. Why don't I just stop paying from like so much money for it and pay a ton right now? That I, I pretty settled on it. I bought the outright license, so like now I have it permanently. But what's cool about that is it came with like some additional plugins that I didn't know about. So I have a ton more like effects that I've been playing with um, like little weird glitch effects and, and ways to warp the screen so that it looks much like more like a, like a TV screen or something so there's there's a lot of things that I uh, can now do that I'm quite excited about so the next cycle play may have quite a lot different about the presentation let me blur this for spoilers uh, okay
it, it might be trippy vague. Honestly, it could. Um, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not trying to. If you're still here, you're probably watching because you've been spoiled already. <laughs> it does now. <laughs> That's a, it's in the game. I didn't. This is not me. So this is All right, this dude wants me to battle him. I'm not feeling it. Oh, I really want to show you all that though. Oh man, um, a little detail. Just fight me already, damn. Just fight me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, just stop talking to me and fight already. Can we fight, please? Can we fight already, please? No, he doesn't want to fight anymore. He left. Okay, I'll show you this. Um, it shouldn't spoil anything. Uh, look at the... I just wanted to show the detail. Look at my character model, and look at how there's, like, frost on my glasses and all my clothes. That's a nice little detail. See, like, this game does so many things wrong, but it does so many other little things perfectly. You know, just a little thing like that. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Um, so they had like a little spat to those two. Mm, I just like an Animal Crossing soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Press on, let's go. I think it was basically just warning me. Like, it's really hard to get past this area. It's pretty perilous. All right. Um, great, great. Thank you. Please stop talking to me. I just want to go explore. Great, we're done. Okay. And we're back. Great. Oh, would you piss off, man? I don't want... They can't see you. You're spoilery. Um, had another match today and scored an absolute better of a try. Let's fucking go. Uh, what, 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 another match in what, Deadbird? Let me know. What did you have a match in? This is all the torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Hmm... About to go through a dark cave. Uh, take. Oh, I have to. Okay, I can't. I, I can't not show you all this. I have to. I have to stay with this guy. So this is like a weird escort mission somehow. I guess. I can only walk here. It's not letting me run. I want to go this way. Can we go that way? I'm going this way. What happens if I go this way? I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh, I play rugby. Oh, nice. Very cool. So explain rugby to me. Rugby to me, like explain it to me like I'm four, um, because I've only seen like little clips of people playing. I don't know how it's actually played. Is it really just soccer, but you have a stick and a ball and a and a basket? Parasociability. Hang on a minute. I don't know that I have. Parasociability. Let me see what that's about. I'm your fan engaging. Hang on, who followed? Uh, gaming with Arnab. Thank you so much for following Gaming with Arnab. Uh, I'm your fan. What is this? I haven't heard of this. Celebrity social media page with with mediation of parasocial interaction. Parasocial. I have done something on parasocial relationships. Is that <laughs> the most the most confusing sport you could think of, Deadbird? Okay. So it's so it's. Well, there's a lot of confusing sports. I was gonna make it like a football joke, but you have a video on person. Uh, I want to make sure I was spelling this right. Parasociability. Yeah, if it's parasocial relationships, I've already touched on that, yeah. Hang on, let me just do this. Definition. Or is it prosociality? Parasocial relationship? Yeah, if it's just that, been there, done that. But, and, and that video is, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, that video is, um, If you haven't seen it, if this is interesting to you, it is uh, this one. When you feel empty, uh, feeling empty when you finish a game. Yeah, that talks about parasocial relationships. So take that if you would like to know about that. Same term. Okay, I guess so. That makes sense. Same term. 
Let's go to stop. Uh, Acrobat. Ooh, an alpha. I got that. No, he's gonna. I bet what's gonna happen is, is like once we get through, he's gonna be like, "That's fine. You can go through now." I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon. I, the words "I like winning more than anything else" flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward's Caves. Wait, Wayward Caves is exit. Even if the memories themselves are faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, who could those be? I'm honestly kind of disappointed in a... I was really hoping it would be a, <laughs> It would be a whole new topic. We put those torches back? Cool. So he's going to put the torches back. Now we can move along. Um, Plitmeister, what's going on? Uh, what's up, Bench Lord? And holy shit, being a lot... Yeah, Bayonetta did lose. Um, actually, Danganronpa won. We're doing Pokemon Legends Arceus today just because I want to. Uh, this is just me wanting to do this. Um, no one's here. <laughs> it's a very slow way. I think we had like 10 viewers right now. Nobody's here. I think everyone's either burnt out on watching this or they're playing it themselves and don't want to get spoiled. It's a slow week. But you know what? That's fine, baby, because you know what happens before the storm? The calm. Next week, despair, craziness ensues. Um, I'm fucking ready for that. It's it's going to be a good time. But I had I just wanted one time to stream this. I just I was stubborn about it. I was like... I shouldn't. No one's really gonna care about this, or maybe some people will care, but everyone's in their in their own uh, world about it. Who is that? Is that is that Kanye? Kanye, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm so miffed about last week. Oh man, I am upset about last week. Still, I, I did I did play some Smash games. I played some rounds on my own. Um, Big Types is excited for Donkey Rump. I finished a few months ago. I I finished the first one on stream. Um, that was like the, that felt like the first real big long series we did on here. We did a little bit of Hollow Knight, but that was kind of all over the place. But I see a motherfucking dragon, baby boy. I see a motherfucking dragon. Come here, baby. Don't notice me, little rug rat boy. Turn around. Turn around. Don't, stop waddling this way. Stop it. Stop, this game. Like, forget about me. I'm not here, chief. Leave. Leave me! <laughs> Don't come this- Stop following me! <laughs> this is what I was looking for. I wanted some new gameplay like this. Because it, it's felt very, uh... Fine. Fine, asshole. Here we go. Let's go. You want the smoke? Don't want to get spoiled, but I wanted to come through on Josh and Love. Hey, Kanye, take care. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next week. Fake fan? <laughs> nah. It's all out there. It's, um... It's on the uh, Daryl TG Extra channel, which is where we archive all the stuff. This thing is gonna get murdered by me. I gotta, I gotta like just throw a ball at it because I don't wanna hurt it. It's really low level. One more update. All right, what you got, Kanye? What you got for me? Uh, Flumeister says honestly, don't care. Never played Pokemon. What do you think of the game? I'm loving it. It's McDonald's in this bitch, man. Uh, Flumeister says I'm officially one step closer to becoming a Joy-Con boy. Picked up a Switch OLED this Sunday. Nice, Flynn. I, I, ha, let me know how it is. Um, the Switch that I have is a day one Switch. It literally, I pre-ordered it before the Switch came out. I got it on day one from GameStop. Uh, I got I pre-ordered that in Breath of the Wild. It was a it was a magnificent weekend. I'm very lost in this in this tunnel. Um, but <laughs> this thing, it's a trooper. This is this thing has worked very hard over the years to continue on clicking and working and churning but boy it's got like a line through it i got jo i got joy i never even i never really use the joy cons anymore I, I got the pro controller and i haven't looked back um let's see kind of i ended up dropping psych in the end because the lessons at school just straight up made me lose interest yeah it can do that <laughs> if you because a lot of psych and i don't know i don't know what was the cause that to happen for you but a lot of the stuff that you're learning is just like research methods and how to make sure that what you're testing is actually what you're testing. So you have to deal with that, and that's a whole that's a whole thing. And then a lot of it's like just Freud, which Freud is interesting, but very invalid. So yeah, if you if you take like a basic overview psych class, results may vary, um, because not everything in psych is interesting. A lot of it is just context of how we got here 
Um, first wish ever for me, Sisplin. Hopefully the Joy-Con served me well. Gonna pick up some games in April. Very nice. Yeah, you will... I have put in a many hour into this beefy little machine and uh, played some good games. I've played some bad games. I've played a lot in the middle. But, yeah, I, I, I have thought several times about upgrading to the OLED, but honestly, I would just rather... I, I kind of feel stubborn. Like, I kind of want to keep my... Uh, Where's that gold bat? I can't find it. Um, I kind of just want to keep my, my little most was going. It's, it's sentimental to me, you know? It's part of the family. This game is fire, D3. I agree. This shit is, is flame. It's made me feel... It makes me feel very good playing this. I have fun. Vague type is... Thank you so much, Vague type. Appreciate the sub. So glad to have you here as a member of the bench tower. Like, look, 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 hold on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Watch closely, all right? Watch very closely. Watch this gold bat as I turn the corner. Okay, well, now it's fine. But boy, it was uh, some ugly frame rate there for a second. It had like... It was... Mm -mm. This game does that. It has some some quirky little things it do. Mm. Kanye says, the main thing for me is that made me drop it being the only one in my class who wasn't uh, wasn't white. And then going through YK in and out, you know, in and out groups, the whole IQ test thing. And I'm like, per personally hearing racism be explained to me as the only black person in the class was kind of... <sighs> yeah... Yeah, so it's interesting you say that because I truly feel that that can affect your ability to um, enjoy a class, right? Because conversely, when it's extremely diverse, I took a class on a diversity psych in, in college. So it was, it was literally the psychology of like how people handle stereotypes, how people handle, um, you know, basically that subject matter. And what was nice about that class, it was it was extremely it was like it was like a Disney Channel special. Like it had a person of every color in there. It felt like, and it was so nice because it was such a discussion based class. Like I asked questions that made me feel like, and it, and it felt like a safe place too to just ask questions about like what's okay, what's not okay, um, and to get out like my feelings about it. Like there was one guy in there named yeah, I'll never forget his name was Ibube, and he was uh, he was Nigerian. Coolest guy ever, tall as hell. Like I'm six two, he was taller than me, and then his hair was like another three inches up. He was cool as hell. Me and him had some good conversations. Um, but if you're taking, and Kanye, I don't know if you're in high school or in college, but if you're in college, um, usually people are a little bit more uh, uh, open about things like this. Is this just one Pokemon right now? Okay, I thought it was multiple. Let's be easy. But yeah, that there's definitely something to be said about that. Because for me, it was the opposite. Obviously, I'm white, but I grew up in a high school where I was surrounded by black folks all the time, right? So, I, the way I perceived being smart, I was always, and it sucked, I, I, I hate this was true, but, like, I was perceived as the smart one all the time. Like, people came to me for answers and shit. And when I didn't know, I felt like, I'm supposed to be smart, uh, and it, it made me panic. So, like, I almost had kind of a reverse of your situation. But yeah, if you if, if there's any way you can take any any type of club or anything like that where you can have those kind of conversations with people, like I remember one of these things, one of the things I asked, there was a, a Spanish girl in there, and she, um, I asked her, I was like, you know, I, something I do or I have wanted to do in the past is, and I'd love to get y'all's input if there's anyone that's Hispanic in the chat. Uh, I I used I often go to um, like Mexican food restaurants because I love it; it's delicious, and oftentimes because of like. Um, because of the nature of the restaurant and where I live, et cetera, et cetera, like oftentimes the waiter is is Hispanic. And in the past, and I, I don't do this anymore, but in the past I have like, when they when I clearly see them across the way speaking with a coworker, speaking Spanish, they bring me my drink, I always say thank you. But I, but I have considered in the past, and in fact I've done it in the past, just said like gracias instead of saying thank you. Which I don't, I didn't know if it was like offensive or not. And I think it varies from person to person. Some people would, would find that offensive. Some would be like, oh, cool. But in my mind, I was like trying to bridge a gap. I was trying to be like, hey, I'm trying to speak your language. I'm trying to be nice to you. Clearly you speak Spanish. I just saw you speak Spanish. I'm just trying to be cool. Like, trying to let you know. But, um, and, and funny enough, one girl was like, no, please do not do that. Because my brother does that. And he hates when people do that. And I was just like, oh, that's, like, I wouldn't have known that had I not asked, you know. Because most people aren't going to tell you that's offensive. They're just kind of kind of like not awkwardly. It's really interesting. Yeah, 6'2", D3, D3. Um, but yeah, like, and again, maybe that's from person to person, but it's just a conversation that I think we as humans need to be able to have. 
you know, just be open. Hey, is this is this offensive to you? Because I don't want to be rude, but I also like want to let you know that I think you're cool and I want to, you know, I want to like uh, interact with you in a way that might be uh, endearing, you know. Why am I trying to catch this dude? I don't want this fucking gold bat. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to kill it. I think I need to kill it. He dies on this bitch. Maybe I do want to want to hurt it. I don't know types that well, <laughs> even though they're right there. I can relate to the, the uh, yes. You see, so it's like I don't do that anymore because I don't want to run the risk, you know. But I, but that was definitely a thing for me for a while. I was just thinking, I was just like, I don't know, like maybe, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I don't know. Um, let me swap out. This is not working out for me. Let me just run. Actually, I to hell with it. Um, okay, I do actually need. I, I need to fight him. Number caught at night. Number defeated. Number defeated with ice type moves. Oh, I got. I got a thing just for you. I got a little solution. I got a band aid. Fix that ass real quick. Here we go. D. McGurry, what's going on? How you doing this evening, Doctor? Let's go ice beam. Um, Flintmeister says my job requires me to name places. To name places I'm not familiar with. Some people get super offended when I mispronounce where they grew up. Yeah, you know, and it, the bottom line is this. Um, people, when you're just meeting someone, there's something called, uh, what is it called? There's a name for it. State versus trait, fallacy, something along those lines. Basically, it goes like this. If you see someone in public and they are behaving a certain way that you would define as shitty, you know, Maybe they're being rude, maybe they're being mean, maybe they're being angry, maybe they're being short-tempered, whatever it is, they're being the way that they're being. We as humans have a natural tendency to see those situations and assume, and this is very researched, and assume that it is um, their trait. We assume that they are acting that way because they are that way, right? Not because they're having a bad day, not because of any other circumstances. Asshole, I wanted you to fight the crowbat. Um, <laughs> Not because they are, um, not because of anything else, but because of just they are that way, right? When in reality, they may be having a bad day. Maybe like they just got terrible news. Maybe they just had a fight with their with their loved one or whatever. Um, whereas on the other end of the spectrum, we have a tendency to anytime something is going wrong with us, not see it as a trait and instead see it as a circumstances, right? So we have a tendency to be like, well, the only reason I'm being this way is because I'm having a bad day. The only reason I'm being like this is because somebody said something to me, right? So we tend to see the best in ourselves in situations like that, and we see the worst in others by default. So when you're in public interacting with someone and they say something that offends you, your first thought is not, oh, they meant that well. Your first thought is, how could you do this to me? You know, I can't believe, I can't believe you saw, you've done this. I see what you're saying, D3, where you feel like you're like a tourist attraction. Yeah, and see, like, one of my one of my favorite things to do is, like, uh, my buddy Jesse that was on here last week, I, I, like, I asked him if he uh, if he spoke Spanish, and I remember, like, asking him how to say certain things. So, like, people, I guess that D3, maybe you can confirm, if you're asking a question, like, how do you say this, or how do you say that, or, um, like, that might be better received than, you know, ah, ha, ha, you know, you know what it means when I say that, you know, gracias, or whatever. So, yeah, maybe that's, maybe that'd be better received, I don't know. Um, Vague Types is my Korean language teacher from Korea is, uh, is like to practice at restaurants. And I'm like, I don't know if that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, at the same time, like you don't want to offend anyone, but, um, it, there are worse ways to offend someone. Like if you're going to mess up, maybe it's just your, oh, an awkward interaction at a restaurant, but yeah, it, it's, you should, you should use your discretion. Um, in the 80s, I'm not American, and maybe I'm wrong, but I have just, uh, I've heard about this phenomenon between Americans and other cultures, while at least here in Spain, this doesn't really happen with English, French, or other languages. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Everyone's obsessed with something different, so maybe Americans are just obsessed with languages. Uh, I think, I think Japanese folk are obsessed with blood types. They see it, like, almost as a personality trait. So, every, every country is definitely obsessed with something along those lines. Maybe Americans just are... Just, I guess a lot of celebrities um, have accents or speak different languages, and so we admire it for that reason. What am I doing here? I need to actually strategize for a second. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to hurt me. I bet I can maybe... 
He's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna hit me twice. So, yeah, this Ice Beam is not gonna kill him. He's Alpha, he's 60, nah, he's out leveling me. Let me just go ahead and see if this will knock him down. Because I want to catch this thing. I like Crobat a lot. Perfect, that's right where I wanted him, so I know exactly what to do now. So what I'm gonna do, he's gonna kill Walrein now. I mean, he just... <laughs> the move animations in this game are so diesel. Sweet Jesus, okay. Um, Flume Master says, tip for those who get calls from um, call centers. I've seen what it's like in there while they're what their their job doing tough. Uh, it's tough doing that job. They get flat from tons of people. I've worked in a call center before. Yes, that is extremely true. Um, don't be rude, you know. Just be kind to people. I feel like is the best advice. I want to bring in Luxury, but I don't know if he's gonna immediately come out and attack. Do I have to tank something? Okay, cool. I do have a return. So now what I'm going to do is Thunder Wave him. Uh, I'll just go normal Thunder Wave. See if I can paralyze him. Put him in a wheelchair? That was too far. <laughs> I shouldn't have made that joke. I remember as a kid, though, I could not pronounce, like, paralysis. Um, and I remember seeing it in the Pokemon games, and they were like... It was abbreviated. It was like paralysis. It took all the, you know, the... the um, what is it? Not the consonants, but it took all the, the vowels out. It took all the vowels out. And I remember asking my mom, like, what is polaresis? Like, I couldn't figure out what it was. In the, uh, in the IQ testing section, uh, this one tipped me to drop the subject. Um, uh, we were doing the Yerkes, the Yerkes, uh, Yerkes Dodson, yeah study and the kid next to me dead ass goes ah look at the statistics and then quotes Django yeah see that's that's not that's not the movie to quote <laughs> it's really not not in those particular circumstances yeah like Jimmy Jimmy's, Jimmy makes a good point yeah um, a smile goes along that's that's the universal language eye contact a smile and no matter where you're at if you're in a restaurant back to my like gracias example if you're in a restaurant just say thank you. Every language knows thank you. If, if you're in America, you understand what thank you means, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure I watched an anime the other day where the sub, like the Japanese sub the anime, like someone said, like, thank you. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty universal. First try. Let's go. <laughs> we take those. Wonderful. Um, D3 says, I know it's not the subject, but I saw a video of an awesome French YouTuber about parasocial relationships, and I thought a lot about you, Daryl, and I like how you make, uh, uh, how I, how, like, why can't I read, and how I like you maybe more than I should, oh, well, D3, that's very sweet of you, I like you too, I, um, I, <laughs> is it a parasocial relationship, technically, I suppose, but it's also, it's not entirely one way, like, you come in the chat, we interact, we hang out, we chit-chat, we shoot the shit, I don't see it as a, a total. Maybe it's the, maybe it's true in the like. I have not watched you stream. I have not interacted interacted with you in that way. But at the same time, like, you know, you're one of the bench tower. That, I feel like that's on its own level, you know. Because the bench tower is not just here to launch. Y'all interact. I interact with chat as aggressively as I can. Because that's where I get my energy. Let me discard all this shit because it is useless to me. Three hundred and sixteen benches. Oh, Kanye, of course, of course, I understand. You got to get it out. Uh, I kind of like these kings things. I don't know what they do. All right, that's probably good to get rid of stuff. Let me grab all this crap. Okay, so we found the damn crowbot. That was the big thing I was after. Appreciate y'all being here on Wednesday. We started out slow. There was like no one here earlier. So I was like, well, <laughs> it's a slow week, but now we got a handful of folks in here. We're having some good conversations. So appreciate y'all. No, I need this. That can't be true. Iron chunk? Did I miss it? Okay. I was like, no, I need all the iron chunks I can get. And there's no way I'm out. The the, the JJJ, the Jaja, is that the... I, it's not, I think someone explained to me. That's like the... It's like the, the Spanish haha. Because J is H. Is that, is that, am I crazy? Is that where I remember hearing that from? So I think, in fact, I think one of y'all told me that, in fact. Ah. Here we are on the other side. 
Professor Levington told me you, how do you feel? Okay, yeah, you guys can't know this. Uh, <laughs> this <is> spoilers. <laughs> okay. Uh, you spat in my cereal. What? What did he say? Did he just say he spat in his cereal? You're not going to go back to what you just said. <laughs> okay. Yes, I love snow in games. Because I never see it in real life. Uh, it doesn't really snow where I where I live. Um, Naomi Cool says, I feel stuck at school. I've failed two different grades and I'm really uh, into programming. I'm getting 90% plus there. <laughs> but hovering, excuse me. But then hovering, why can't I stop burping? <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I just sound like I died. I sound like Palpatine when he was like, ah, don't kill me. I just want to focus on what I want to do. Um, and if I need to know something in practice, uh, I'll learn it then. You know what? Um, there is, God, I don't, I don't want to make too general of a statement because I don't want to just be like, your future is going to be fine. But I'll tell you this. Um, in a lot of ways, high school does not matter. Like you want to get your degree, obviously. Um, but in a lot of ways, and you, is possible you don't want to get into a, a good a good college to where you can get a degree because that is how you get jobs but at the same time nothing can really replace understanding what you're doing so if you have a passion for that maybe i would just say stick with it keep programming that that is the future technology is taking over as is boomers it sounds to say that that is true so i would just say keep your head down finish high school try to get into college if possible but ultimately, just keep working on your craft because, um, you know, degrees are nice. But ultimately, what matters most is that you can do the job you're being hired for. So, I'll just say that. I don't want to... <laughs> I would love to come in and be like, yeah, you'll be fine. But I don't know that. So, what am I trying to do? I want to recover. That's right. I want to revive some shit. Oh, I need to craft. I'm running out of... I'm running out of revives. Let me get some of these. Those. Here we go. All right. Um, Jimmy says, I feel like eye contact has been the biggest game changer for me interacting with people in retail or food service, having worked in food service myself. I know you get a lot of verbal interaction with no intent slash honesty behind it. Um, but saying those things, really looking at the person's eyes and meeting all in the moment can be me. Yes. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Um, eye, con eye contact goes a long way. Um, some people are scared off by it. Some people, including myself, there are times where someone makes eye contact with me and I'm like, oh boy, I wasn't like... <laughs> It's like immediately aware that you're kind of here, you know. Uh, hang on a second. Are you looking for something to eat? Are you snacky? Well, there's you. Many? Hey, are you you're gonna find something? Okay. My, my my wife just woke up from a nap. She walks in here and she looks over the monitor and she goes. I was like, is this hunger? What are you, what are you trying to communicate to me? Yeah, man, eye, eye contact goes a long way um, in most cases. It, you, as long as it is given context. Like, if you look at someone, you're smiling, great. But if you just look at them, like, while you're talking, it, it may almost be too much for some folks. But you should make a practice to do it. Don't. <laughs> um, let's see. We use JRH for laughing. I don't really get that. I don't really get it, and I'm Spanish. Yeah, because, right, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand the language enough to make a good comment on it. Seven or 20 inches of snow tonight? That's insane, Tony. Oh, my God. Uh, speaking of jobs, my, my boss hasn't put me on the ship for the entire day of January. Hate to see that. Hate to see that. I am fucked right now. I don't want to fight all these dudes. All right, did I actually revive my Pokemon? I'm so scatterbrained right now. Hang on. So I want this hair across because, uh, again, trying to complete this Pokedex if possible. Let me revive some shit. So first, I want to get Typhlosion back in the game. Got my Caesar. I haven't popped out yet, but I love me that Caesar. Caesar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Do y'all have a favorite Pokemon? If you had to, if you had to pick a favorite, what would it be? I think I would probably. I'd probably have to go with a Shuckle, or, because I love Shuckle, I just love his little face and his little body and his little, really just his little face. Um, 
I love Shuckle, and I, I really like Deoxys. I feel like Deoxys is just the coolest damn Pokemon. Um, the noise it makes, everything about it is just awesome. All right, let me go ahead and fight just you. The rest of you guys can leave. You're dismissed. Shit, <laughs> they're still here. All right, I have to run away from this. Squirrel, no doubt. I respect it. What are you going to do to me, dog? Oh, damn it, man. You get beat up so fast in this game. Mawile the Roserade? Bruce, what's going on, man? Uh, how's Breath of the Pokemon going? Bro, this breath is delicious. This is Colgate freshly breast, fresh, freshly brushed, fresh. Not freshly brush. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, we got some gold duck. I've already caught some of them bad boys. Do I need more gold duck? Can I, can I defeat you? And Oh, I don't even. Hang on. Gold duck has nothing? Nothing? I don't believe that for a second. There's no way I've done nothing for gold duck. I do like Roserade. Roserade's cool. Um, let me just go ahead and scenario this. Strong style. Yes, D3. Like, the bottom line is the skeleton of this game is amazing. The game is built right. Like, the interactions in the environment, the the way the battle system goes, the strong style, agile style thing has added so much to the game. Uh, so much to the... And I actually, like, so one thing that they changed... There's a handful of um, like status effects that are changed, like Frozen is no longer Frozen as you know it. And now Frozen is, oh shit, I didn't, what do you need to do? Actually here, um, Hypnosis is no longer sleep, it is now drowsy. Like you you just, your Pokemon has a chance of being kind of, so all that to say, um, it's made, it's changed, it's changed the meta. So like moves like Rest are now gonna be OP because you're not actually asleep. It'd be like if, if rest healed you, but you were just paralyzed, and you were only paralyzed for a short time. How are there two of you big... Get the fuck out of here, man. I don't invite this many people to my party. Please. Please survive. Okay. I wanted to hit kill with a magical leaf, because that's gonna... I get points for that. I wish I could hit both at once, but... Oh, I'm not gonna get points for any, because he's gonna kill me. This game's hard. <laughs> this game is actually hard. Um, I'm asleep. All right, Nami, cool. Take care. Sleep well. Yeah, the graphics do need a little bit of a little bit of help. Um, but I would rather a fun, ugly game than a pretty boring game. Talking to you, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm just kidding. I haven't played that game. <laughs> I have just heard it is uh, meh. That's all I know. All right. Um, fuck these dudes up. With the difficulty options, or is it standardized? It's standardized. There's only one difficulty. They still haven't figured that whole thing out. Um, God is not that good yet. He's still testing us. But, um, but boy, it it, uh, it is... The difficulty is not in like trainer battles like in previous games. It is actually in just surviving this environment, which is to be expected. It's an open world game, right? Yeah, exactly. Breath of the Wild 2 comes out this year. This is the year we get Breath of the Wild 2. Allegedly. Allegedly. They could delay it. Which, if they delayed it, fine. Like, I trust... This map is big as hell. Um, which I trusted. If they needed to do that, then by all means, you know, take your time. Take your time, kings. I need to kill some more of these guys. Um, but, 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 but. Uh, what's going on, Doc Sophie? Chair naps would be the death of me. <laughs> you ever have one of those naps where you just wake up and you're just like... Do you know where you've been? Like, <laughs> you just don't even, uh, you just don't even, you can't even reference yourself. Your grammar's all fucked up. It's one of those dreams, or you have one of those naps that just, um... I was trying to make a, a swear to drunk I'm not God officer joke, but I, for some reason, I couldn't make it happen. But you know what I'm talking about, those naps where you just, it, it, you don't know what time or location you're in. <laughs> you know? What year is it exactly? I was reading, uh, I, was, I said read to make me sound more sophisticated. I was watching a video the other day on, like, sleep cycles. 
and apparently the general rule is like don't sleep past like 20 minutes or if you're going to do that you can just sleep like a full 90 minutes because you don't want to wake up in the middle of one of your cycles um because then you're going to have a hell of sleep inertia yeah and tony pony makes a good point there's breath of the kirby too we got breath of the kirby coming out this year um i want these gold ducks to come back but there, there they are i threw the wrong damn there we go um that game looks really good. I am so enticed. Don't, don't, thank you. Please, please just stay alive so I can get the points by killing with the grass type move. Um, what? I know I have same type, same type attack boost. Oh, magic leaf's only 60. I was thinking it was 80. Okay. I feel less dumb now. Mr. Weber says it always, I always try to sleep for only uh, only full hours. Yeah, I can do a 10 minute nap. A 10 minute nap is like turning my battery, like taking my batteries out and resetting. Like I feel so good after a 10 minute nap. Uh, I feel incredible. But yeah, that 30 minute, 45 minute hour, uh, can't do that. Turn around. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank God he didn't break out. Um, we got a gold bat. I don't care about you. Maybe I do. What, what do I need for a gold bat? I gotta, I gotta defeat him with ice type moves. I, I'm really considering shiny hunting down the line. That's why I'm trying to get this done. An extra 20, 30 minutes before falling asleep, uh, and to wake up before my, my, my wall, my alarm. Yeah. I always, um, I just, I just do six hours every night. I'm just like, I need to get six hours. I schedule it and, I'm, and that's it. And if I sleep past that, well, God help me. But my intention every night is to, um, my attention every night is just to get about six hours. Because that, that feels like enough for me. That's all the shit I gotta do every day. Like play Pokemon. <laughs> like play Pokemon for a room full of folks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had the whole, like, this is the Dark Souls of dating sim like we had you know, like we had the we had that whole thing where that was the trope to say this is the dark souls of this but the next thing is is clearly this is the breath of the wild of the series you know so this is the breath of the wild of pokemon we're about to have the breath of the wild of kirby we're about to have the breath of the wild of sonic the sonic one has me intrigued because with all that space you can actually go fast and it, it, it is a and that's the fun thing about this whole every game wanting to be an open world thing now is that you get to experiment clearly pokemon works in an open world because it's about you know navigating the space and like hunting for stuff it's, it's, it feels like you're playing monster hunter almost um so clearly pokemon works with that formula but it makes you wonder how sonic's gonna work and you think sonic would work because again all that space means you can go fast my problem with a lot of sonic games you just feel like you're going fast but like in somebody's living room you know like it doesn't it doesn't uh you just feel constrained. You get all that speed going and you just have to stop for whatever reason, or, you know. Uh, NAE, take care, sleep well. Uh, but yeah, I'm honestly sleep Yeah, I am too, Vague. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what, they, what they got in store for us. Because what Sonic needs is just, is to change the formula. These same old 3D Sonic games are just with like little platforming sections in between. Somebody out there could do it, could do it well as far as developing it. I just don't see that being the Sonic team. So maybe what they need is changing something, uh, a change in pace, something that hasn't been done before as far as Sonic goes. I'm here for it. Sign me up. How are we doing on the uh, Gold Bats? Um, Chicka Chicka Chua, -choo -uh, number defeated, the field ice type moves. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Do any number of people have psychic type moves? Do I have any psychic type moves in my repertoire? I think I do. Hang on. I'm almost 20 hours in this game, and I still press start to try to open my menu, and it pulls up the damn deer every time. Caesar, did I give you check change moves? You got psycho cut. Yeah, let me keep. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do psycho cut to use it. But I need to heal first. So this game will wear your Pokemon down so fast. It's crazy. All right, let me go ahead and shoot with the, uh, huh. missed him. <laughs> it's fine. 
Mm, one group of people made a open world Sonic game. I think it was called Sonic Utopia. I think I heard about that. There's been a lot of Sonic fan projects just because people so badly want these games to be good. You know, we all want that. Sonic is cool. Sonic's a good character, right? Um, Bruce says at least 3D Sonic games, I feel like they benefit from mastery, whereas playing the level completely and getting better scores is the goal. You start out awkward, but become fa uh, very fast over time. There is very much truth to that. Um, but it, it sort of adopts... You talk about mastery. Um, it, it sort of adopts the... the whole, like, high score thing. People... It seems to be the case that people aren't as motivated by a high score or, like, an achievement like that as they once were, maybe? So maybe that's why it's... People aren't so gung-ho to, like say yeah i agree i, I play these sonic games because i want to master a level uh i feel like and this is this may come as a surprise to you but i feel like i feel like the sonic fan base is pretty weird in that they want some really heavy weird story shit you, you know like for video game purists i agree with you the whole mastery thing is certainly in the equation but if you've seen some of the sonic fan art out there if you've seen some of the sonic if you've seen what the internet to quote eye patch wolf has done to Sonic, it makes you think that, like, maybe the Sonic fan base doesn't really want that. Maybe the majority of the Sonic fan base wants some kind of crazy storytelling odyssey where Sonic gets the girl and, like, you know, there's this ancient problem. Like, so, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if, if you're absolutely correct in that, but that's not quite what Sonic fans want. I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a big Sonic fan. I would consider myself a Sonic weekend warrior you know <laughs> so, sonic sonic has changed sonic is different now um, dear god that was really powerful uh didn't expect that to happen so quickly maybe we can get it down with this typhlosion is going to take an l exactly bruce intrinsic versus um extrinsic rewards don't, whatever you're about to do, just put, put him to sleep. Don't, don't do this. Don't, don't do that. Okay, that's fine. Why am I trying to catch this thing? I've already got all the muffins I need. He's gonna die. That's fine. Great. Just give me my points. Yeah, give me this. And I don't have space. This is another part of this game that pisses me off in a good way. I actually like this. This is actually a good feature. Is this whole management thing of I can't carry everything. At some point, I gotta cash in my chips. So I just discard shit that I know I can come across really quickly. Uh, I don't want to favor you. I want to get rid of you. Discard. Damn it, Daryl. Can't you navigate a menu? You fucking schmuck. Discard. I both love and hate. Yeah, exactly. Like, so the thing about Pokemon, I kind of only realized this playing this game. The battles are usually pretty boring because you one person at one entity attacks, the other attacks. And in old Pokemon games, you kind of did that on repeat. And I used to think like, oh, I, I hate that the trainers don't have a ton of Pokemon like they used to. But honestly, like, well, I, I think I still kind of feel that way. But battles go so fast now because everything hits so hard, you know? It's really about understanding the matchup and making sure that you are bringing in something that can tank something and then maybe use an agile move and swap out. So they have changed the game quite significantly with this. And I, I think I'm here for it. And Jim on breasts look like they massacred my boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm the same way, Vector. I almost kind of hope it sucks again because I feel like that's just what Sonic is now. You know, Sonic is a is sort of a repeating parody of himself, and people still somehow love him. So I don't know. I, I'd be happy if it sucked. It just can't be kind of. It just kind of can't be boring. Like it either has to be really good, or it has to be just atrocious. And if it's anything in the middle, it's boring. You know, people want Sonic to just be <laughs> a topic, and he's not a topic if the game is just kind of meh. Mm hmm Exactly. It is very one-shotty. Demo. Yes, Jimmy. 100%. It, when I saw the little bars up on screen and it, it had the Octopath Traveler, it had the, the Final Fantasy X, it had the little turn order thing, I said, yep. That's, I'd like that one, please. I'll take one. 
Uh, oh, I went to the right place. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to like meander around aimlessly. Fuck, I'm here like actually where I need to be. <laughs> Damn it. Sun doesn't need to change is perfect. Hot take. Hot take. How far are you? I don't know voice supporters. Bakuhaku, I'm trying to avoid any plot. I'm literally just going around the map right now. Um, my whole, and anytime we do get to plot plot, I am just minimizing it so that you guys don't see what's happening happening. I'm just in, I, I'm three quarters of the way in, I would, I would say. No, I'm like just over half the way in. Um, but I'm just exploring. Like my whole point right now is just to kind of fill Pokedex and chit chat with y'all. I'm not going to do anything major plotty. And if I do, I will make sure that you guys are not exposed to it. So nothing is, 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 um, is shown. Uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I got enough points on. There we go. Plot, plot. Ooh, we got to, oh fuck, that's, that's perfect. See, if there's a, if there's a, if there's a spatial, if there's, if there's a blue thing, purple thing in the sky, then we're going to be all right. Hair across, let me try you again. Duck, duck, duck. Goose? Oh, I got his ass now. I, her, I got her ass now. I got her ass now. Let's go. <laughs> See how I did that? I hit it right over the, threw it right over the defense's head. Let's go. What is that parasite doing, dog? You see? Shit. <laughs> I'm over here making fun of him. You making fun of, you making fun of my dance moves, boy? You can, huh? Where is that distortion? I'd like to know. I'd like to know. I don't think it's formed yet. I think it's forming. Oh, it's way the hell over here. Oh, I have to advance the plot to go to there because I got to go up to this thing, I think. So we'll maybe we'll head that way. This air. Well, hang on a minute. Wait a second. Hold on. Look at this. There's layer. So we have this layer that I'm on right now. We have this layer that I'm on right now, and then maybe I can go around and go up this way. But like, there's a, there's a plateau here. There's a plateau here. This thing just goes up and up. We're not gonna get to that damn spice that sp space time continuum, whatever the fuck it's called. The shadow realm. We ain't going. It's too far away. Um, Demo says, uh, have less battles, be more rewarding. It makes battles feel like actual fights. Yeah. Well, and that's, that kind of ties into the lore of this game, too, because this is like before Pokemon were considered, you know, part of society. So Pokemon battles are kind of primitive. Um, I thought I was, I thought that was going to be a major point of contention for me with this, but I'm having so much fun just, just with wild battles, you know? <laughs> well, there you go, Baku. See? We're right there together. Um, Jimmy says, Jimmy says, for what it cost, I think it was perfect. As it wasn't charged like a uh, like a full sixty dollar AAA game. Are we talking about Pokemon? Or are we talking about something else? It's funny because I sneak three says it's funny because I skipped the guide in this part and completely um, and got to the top of the mountain and still had the objective of seeing the guide after the first game. That's funny. Oh, Sonic Mania. I haven't played Sonic Mania. I don't play many Sonic games because, um, well, I just don't. Some, for, for whatever reason, I just, I just don't. So I clip up here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, oh no. Okay, maybe I can't. I was going to try to sneak around and work my way up. See if I could get past the little plot stoppage. Um, we got a motherfucking Psyduck. Do I have Psyduck? Is Psyduck done? Can you please target him so I could target him? Targeting. I guess I can't while I'm being targeted myself. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there's a waterfall. Maybe we shouldn't run off that. That's probably a good idea. Um, where does this river go? I wish I'd stop being targeted. It goes right to hell. Alright, I'm bored of this uh, area. We have to continue. I, I, I'm going to minimize this so no plot will get spoiled. So, Bakuhaku, you'll be all set. Don't worry. I think we'll get spoiled here. I will double check to see if I can maybe go up here. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I jump. I grab. Oh, I can't grab it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 let's go. I did it. <laughs> I got up there. What what cost? Okay. Okay. So I, I may have... <laughs> I may have... um. Clean the aquarium. I, I may have fouled my taxes. I may have waffled my house. Let me just hide out here real quick. Hopefully, this asshole. Can, yeah, okay, he'll leave me alone finally. Par Parasect takes everything personally. Parasect is so touchy. Um, 
Invictor says a Sonic game needs to be on the next poll or maybe something he plays during the next poll since they can be knocked out in a day. So here's the thing, Vector. So we're going to play Danganronpa next week. If you're just tuning in, it looks like we have more viewers now. I guess everyone was late today or whatever. Um, thank you for being here, first of all. We're playing Danganronpa 2 next week. That is the beginning of what is going to be a very long series. It was what was voted on last time. I want you guys to know that my plan is this. We're going to play Danganronpa. If you guys want to recommend short games, it can be like one-time streams. We will probably take breaks during Danganronpa. Like maybe after three or four streams of Danganronpa in a row, we're going to take a one stream where we just do something else just to kind of cleanse our palate. Then we hop back into Danganronpa 2 and eventually we'll finish it. But when we get to the other side of Danganronpa, I want you to know that the tournament polls are going to be very new. I'm going to try and not repeat a single game from previous polls. I'm going to try to make them almost entirely new. Maybe there'll be one repeat, maybe two. But for the most part, I want the polls to be very new because um, I think that's going to be in bigger. I feel like I feel like every poll before has been great, but um, I only kind of want to put stuff back on there if you guys are like begging me to put it back on there. So let that be known. Um, Jimmy says, I, I like to mix in those shorter, cheaper, but still refined games like Sonic Mania. Yes, I agree. I like to, 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 to break up the pace a little bit. I played I played Gunvolt. Gunvolt was cool. Um, I forget which one it was, but I played a Gunvolt game. Uh, Metro Z, my favorite shorter game is you'd call Metro Zero Mission short. Interesting. I haven't played it, but it is a Metroid game, so I would assume it's going to have a little bit of length to it. This is <laughs> this is Danganronpa two. Actually, this has all been a, a, a ploy to Tony Pony's credit. He figured it out. This has actually been Danganronpa two. Different games between the chapters. Yeah, we could maybe do chapters. I just was kind of play. I was gonna play it by ear. Like maybe once we got to a major plot point or something, or maybe once I just you know one stream happened and I was just like, I'm tired of Dongarampa for right now. I need something else because it's a long game. In fact, it's longer than the first Dongarampa as I understand it. So, Damon X Machina is free right now, I believe, on uh, Epic Games. I almost got it, Flynn, but I just thought, nah, I'm playing Pokemon right now. But I should probably do it. <laughs> Pardon. Yeah, we could make polls to return to the main polls, exactly. So we could we could have like a qualifying tournament or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty diesel. We could make something like that happen. Um let's go ahead and jump. Yeah. I don't want that. I should probably go do the plot. I don't want to break the game. <laughs> uh, but I do want to get up here where maybe there's some more mods we could pick from. Ow. So I'm going to progress the plot, but I'm going to do it in such a manner that you guys will not have to worry about seeing anything. So let's do this. I'm going to dub this over for you. Okay, I'm done doing this. Um, this man's shoes, clown shoes, um, Jamon Bread says, random question, what's your fave game of all time and why at me? I would say for nostalgia purposes, no, not even, not even for that. I think my favorite game actually is Pokemon Crystal. It was my first Pokemon game. I still to this day will play it whenever I'm stressed out or I have something kind of big going on, you know? So... I would probably say Pokemon Crystal, just because I, I have such a history with it. Uh, this guy wants me to fight him. Um, have I seen the new, the next original Yacht Club game? I have. I heard about it. Uh, in fact, they emailed me about it, and they were like, do you want to get a review copy? Or no, was it, wasn't that? Can I say that? Whatever. They, they, emailed, they emailed about something, and I was just like, I can't guarantee I'm going to make a video on it. I never heard back. But that game does look cool as hell. Um, uh, but, 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 oh, so he's going to throw out a, st a stunk tank. I ain't worried about this. Um, mm. no, I take it back. I take it back. Um, it wasn't my, it was my first Pokemon game, but it was my first, it was definitely my first, like, um, I've played, I, I played several hours of this game. By the way, I'm in a Pokemon battle right now with this person. Uh, I don't want to let y'all know what's happening. I want to keep this spoiler free if possible. They talk this Mass Effect series is my favorite flaws and all. Yeah, I respect that. Now, um, I don't know nothing about um, I don't know nothing about that series, but I have heard that it is it is quite a joy to play. Let me do 
this rock slide real quick. Um, why are you always missing? Why do I get screwed out of my extra turn of my if my attack misses? I got so many grievances right now. Anyways, um, I would say Crystal is probably my favorite of all time. I would say my favorite in recent years. Hmm. I did genuinely adore Persona. I adored Near Automata. Honestly, I think I'd have to say Smash, just in general. Just because I, I Smash is just so close to my heart. I grew up on Smash. It was my first console game. So I'd probably say Smash Ultimate might might actually be it. But that's... Now, you, oh, D3, you said favorite game series. Or was it some... Did you ask that? That was, that was a follow-up question. Favorite series? I don't know, man. Maybe Final Fantasy? Also, I promise we're about to get back to the game here in a second. I know I'm just like looking. <laughs> I'm just like looking off into space like... I know I'm looking at... Oh, there we go. Well, y'all can't see that. Sorry. Any recommendations to start? This one, GM. This is not the, this is not the game that's going to give you a good representation of the rest of them, but if you're going to start somewhere, um, start here. It's, it's, it's quite good. All right, let me uh, catch y'all back up. Everybody dying, dude. This is... Everyone dies in this game. My Pokemon cannot stay alive. Um... But no, if I had to say, now outside of this game, if I had to say one that you would start with, it's going to depend on what you have available. You know, if you have a, if you have a, if you have a 3DS available to you, maybe start with, that's tough. That's really tough. Maybe, I'm going to be honest with you, maybe start with uh, Gold and Silver. Can I just be free? I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to keep blurring this for the people. I want them to see me play. Pearl and, yeah, Diamond and Pearl might be a really good start, actually. Everybody dies without Danganronpa. No, it's this week. This is Danganronpa. Y'all thought it was next week, but it's actually this week, as uh, I believe it was uh, Tony Pony that pointed out. Uh, here's your Pokemon. Go. Blah, 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 blah. The stones you left behind. There you go. Oh, see, this person right here. So this isn't a spoiler, um, because this person meets you like... First thing in the game. This guy. Oh, that's a spoiler. I can't show you that. Okay, well, you guys... Okay, so here we go. So let me show you this. This person right here, all right? This person with the... This is Cynthia. This is Cynthia's... Grand, this is Cynthia's, like, great-great-grandfather or reincarnation or something. I keep waiting for the end of the game when this dude pulls his, his hat off and he's like, boom, I'm actually Cynthia. And her fucking battle music starts and she destroys you. Um, that's what I keep thinking this character is. Mario Galaxy 1 or 2, Kanye? Oh, you, you may not. If I tell you how I feel about the Mario Galaxy games, you may not ever watch me again. Um, <laughs> you, you may not ever watch me again. So I'll, 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 I'll leave that to you. If you would like to know, I'll tell you. Um, questions? Okay. There is a mystery going on right now. How about me? I don't know. As a matter of fact, maybe I did. I'm answering these questions. Um, he does have a baseball cap, straight up, Sophie. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever's on the other side of that rift is... Oh, I can't read this to y'all. <laughs> mm, yes, of course. Obviously. No shit. Of course. He said something. He said the most three IQ thing I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, I don't know what you're talking about. Why? Why did it? Why? Why would you buy it? I don't know. That's so many questions. I know. Like, when will I be done with this so I can keep playing the game? I'm talking shit, but this is actually really cool lore. If I, if I was off stream, I'd just be like, reading this. <laughs> you know? Right, safety, good. I'll read you one word from every sentence. Admirer. Entrust. Time. And he leaves. So many recommendations. Are y'all hitting me with a ton of recommendations right now? Or was this the, was this the um, Pokemon thing? All right, don't, don't do this to me again. Do not make me walk with this man. Okay, I'm free. Here we go, baby. Okay, back to the game. So now I'm in this weird brick cave. 
Um, I've got some Bronzong. Hello. Oh shit. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. Let me, let me, not, let me not fuck around and get hurt. Um, so I got a Bronzong. This would be a cool Pokemon to have shiny of. It's like Black Hat poetry. <laughs> All right, let me scroll up the chat real quick. Um, okay. Da -da -da -da. Jim on says I wasn't an RPG guy either, but they're really fun. Oh, okay. So this, this game is changing people's opinions about genres. The final plot twist is that, that, that Cynthia's ancestor is actually a Monokuma in disguise. Sarah, you are so ready to get back to Duncan Rampa. I can tell <laughs> you're, you're sitting in your house right now like, mm -hmm. oh, despair is back next week, baby. Yes, it, it really is. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, too. Like I say, we would have been on, on it this week. I just one time wanted to do this. One time wanted to do this. Uh, should I? What should I slap you with? Let me slap you with a rock slide. <laughs> That's right, my uh, burp caused that. Don't you put me to sleep. I, I wish they would have put in an animation for like, you know, anytime they avoid the attack. Um, I wish they would have had like an animation where they just kind of like... <laughs> like they swerve it real quick, just nothing long, only a couple frames. Oh, it is, it's coming back. I'm so excited. Well, we're gonna get some despair. Um, do I do this again? I guess I go agile style, that way it doesn't kill it. Because I want this thing, I would like to have it. Oh, Jam on Bread, we've been counting the birds since day one. Yeah, the presentation, you know, but it's like I was saying earlier, man, like I would, I would rather this game. Be ugly but fun than fun. Or excuse me. I'd rather this game be ugly but fun than boring yet pretty, you know? I don't want to be a. Oh, <laughs> right on time. Sarah's Redeem. Okay, we got Despair and Hope. Let's go get them. Let's go do them real quick. No problem. Let's get it. I don't want this ball of mud. Fuck that ball of mud. So let me go over here. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I got. I have, a, I have an easy way to do this now. So let's go. Over to, where is it, Reddit? We got it, I hope. We, it's been a hot minute. I'm excited about this. We haven't done these in a while. Um, okay, so make me suffer. Hello, can I type correctly? Make me suffer. There we go. I saw, I saw one, oh my God. So I don't follow this on, I don't follow make me suffer on, on uh, Reddit, but I, because I visit it so often, thanks to you fuckers, um, it shows up sometimes as like, we, we've noticed you've gone here before and it shows me shit and I don't want to see it. It's the worst. This is the worst place. Never come here. Never come here outside of my streams. You'll hate every second of it. It's a, it's a waste of everyone's time. Um, let me make sure my stream. Yeah, we're good. Um, Bruce says Opera GX is such a good browser. I agree. Remember you said that. I love Opera though. Opera's cool as hell. Um, okay. So, oh boy. Oh boy. Injury. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. Hang on. Just one little second. I'm going to see if this is something I can actually show y'all. <laughs> I think I can show y'all this. This is actually kind of funny. Uh, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up on screen. An injury. Somebody took the Eiffel Tower up the foot. Look at the x-ray. Look at the... <laughs> they ought to be ashamed of themselves. How did this happen? How... This feels Photoshop. This feels fake. I feel like this is fake. Whatever. Okay. There you go. Hope you uh, hope you liked that. Hope that was fun for your first supper. What is this? You go inside this hole. Ooh, I don't like this at all. It's like that Jacob Geller video about going underground. Oh no! Don't go any further, dog. No, don't put the other arm in. Don't put the other arm in. Don't put your head in. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I like his little face at the end. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't suffer. Not if I found the most fucked up video I ever saw. Yeah, I, that, mm -hmm, not making that mistake twice. Um, Miles suffered, but what the hell do you think? What is this? Orbeez down the drain? Oh, I've seen this before. This is not a supper. I'm not going to count that one. Oh, no. I don't want to be inside this dude's mouth. Oh, no. Oh, that was a true. Oh, that was a genuine suffer. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. I am experiencing despair right this second. If you're new here, <laughs> if you're new here, I'm sorry. Um, that was the despair, which I have now done. I'm going to go ahead and say we're good on that. 
here's the hope. If you're new here, just so you understand, what we do here is you can redeem a hope or a despair. Three posts and make me suffer, or three posts and wholesome gifts. Um, it's expensive to, to, to spend your points on. Nice kids, what do we have here? What is this? What's happening? Also, I can't see chat right now, so you're going to have to hang on. I, when I have the switch open, I can't use both screens. So I can't see chat if you're spamming, dear God, Daryl. <laughs> I can't see it. What is this man doing with his lunch? Why does he look like young Gordon Ramsay? Fucking grapes. Another week. Carrots. You fucking donkey. He really does look like a young Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> is this kid going to eat? <laughs> what is happening in this video? Okay, he's back. He's got this lunchbox that he shouldn't even be bringing. There's nothing in it. He brings it just for show. Maybe that's the point. What? Oh, it's on repeat. Wait, did it? I'm not sure I understood the point of this. Was this wholesome? Oh, oh, I get it now. I get it now. I understand. Okay, they gave him food. That was sweet. Um, by bystanders rec rescuing older people involved in a car accident. Oh, this is sad. But also cool. Oh, uh, help him. Help him. Get him out of there. I can't make this full screen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> bro, he kicked the shit in. He was like, bro, he got his foot up so easy. First try. My man used to take dance lessons. I can feel it. He got the high kick. Let's go. That is wholesome. Um, uh, can I get something to play, please? Oh, this is just a gift. Here we go. All right, kicks the field goal. I think I've seen this. This is like they give him a scholarship because he kicked the field goal or whatever. That's awesome. Wholesome as hell. Okay, great. Well, uh, let me pull my thing back up. Make sure you guys... Thank you for that. <laughs> that was horrible and, and cute and all that. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I just got here. I was wondering if, it, if we had spoilers. Hey, what's going on here in Name Villain? Yes, we, we do have spoilers, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to censor them as best I can so that we can just play. Um, bro, how? And some number of burps. Hang on, let me go back up. I don't know how much I missed. Okay, here we go. I need to also redeem this and make sure that I show. Yes, we did do that. Thank you, Don Derry. Always can trust Don Derry to participate on the hopes and despairs. Uh, how did that get in there? You're talking about his mouth? Like, what the fuck was that? I cannot believe. Nope, nope, nope. Hell not you. Hell not. Mm -mm. That was the worst. I can't believe we had to go through that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Thank you all very much for making me feel, in the span of about three minutes, the, the pure sensation of death and the pure ecstasy of joy. It was, uh, okay. Bitch, don't be looking at me. I'm gonna throw some food out for you. You gonna eat that food. Come on, go get it. Well, he's not looking at me, so. Come on. Come on. Oh no! Damn it. Bro, I cannot, I don't have the stealth like I had. I used to have the John Elway arm. So upset by that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me just see. Let me just see if I can avoid getting beat up. Let's see if I can one shot this shit. No, don't break out. Okay. Perfect. Back at it. So we are. Okay, so there's a bronze on. Oh, that's right, Kanye. You, you teased me, my good fellow. I, I could hear the controversial Mario Galaxy opinion. So here's my opinion about Mario Galaxy. Um, I would love to have one. I have not played those games. And the reason for it is because, number one, I never had a Wii. And number two, I when, when I was considering getting a Wii, I was in college. So, like, basically the whole Wii, Wii U generation, so many things I didn't play. Um, I played like a little bit at a friend's house, and I really liked Mario Galaxy, but I didn't play enough to really make a great opinion on it. 
I'll tell you that I adore Odyssey because the Switch was sort of when I jumped back into video games. The Switch was the beginning of a renaissance for me. But um, but yeah, no, I I think that the uh, I'm sure it's delightful. I've heard nothing but good about it. Go beat that. Go eat it. Bronzong. Go eat it. Why does it slide like that? What kind of bowling ball shit? Okay, great. Great. And now we just... Oh, let's go. I did get more three y'all stars. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Did he break out? Was there another one? Oh shit, hang on. There. I did get it, but um, here's the thing. Here it is. It's very sealed. It's going to stay that way. As soon as I found out that they were going to have these games be um, they were, they were like a limited, limited time release, I saw dollar signs. I was like, you know what? Maybe at some point I'll be tempted to crack it open, but probably I'm just going to leave it sealed so that years from now it'll be like worth something. Um, does that make me a shitty person? Maybe, maybe. Uh, but also, like at some point I might. And <laughs> and the second I was really getting tempted to open it, I just saw a ton of people ragging on it online. Like the the Mario Sunshine port sucks, and and the Super Four, you know. So people had opinions about it. At some point I'll just get a Wii. At some point, I'll just do it. It's so scummy, I hate it, Nintendo, not you. You should have bought two. I should have bought two, but um, I was not made of money at the time. At some point, I'll probably break down and just go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? Um, I do. <laughs> but I don't know. I just saw it, and I was just like, man. Because on one hand, you could look at that and be like, oh, it's so scummy that you would that you would treat the video game like that. Instead of playing it, you're just going to treat it as like a collectible. But at the same time, like you know damn well that Charizard that you had whenever you were a kid... If you could, you would have absolutely, like, or all those Pokemon packs you opened as a kid, you absolutely would have, like, sealed that shit, or you if you had a, a game, like, if, you, if, if you know as a kid, if, why can't I talk? If you knew as a kid what some of the shit you had would have been worth when you grew up, you would have kept a box for all of your games. You would have kept a guide for all your games. You would have kept so much shit. Um, so at the same time, you know, let me do me. What's your what's your controversial opinion, Kanye? Dude, a same GM. I hate that I saw that. Um, the Zelda game and watch. Yeah, oh, it makes sense. Of course, I got no. Pro what I have a problem with is scalpers and NFT people. Those are the people I have a problem with. This like buying something like this is a collectible. I'm not gonna play this. It is a collectible for me. I'm fine with that. Just don't want the, the, the scalping. That's when you're just clearly only in it for money, you know? Do I want to fight this? Do I want to just throw a ball at it? Do I have anything that could hurt it? Let me see if I can high horsepower this thing down to about half health. Um, oh, I killed it. Cool. Uh, I did not enjoy Mario 64, says Kanye. I enjoyed Mario 64 on the DS. But it was also a very long time ago. So maybe I didn't enjoy it. I don't know. But you know what I that. I think that um, Mario 64 was... <laughs> this is kind of the Mario 64 of the next generation of Pokemon. Like, you're, they're introducing so many things. Mario 64 had a big responsibility. It had to introduce the camera, you know? So, of course, it is not going to be flawless. It's impressive that they were able to do what they did when they did. I hate that I can't sneak here. I just want to crawl around and catch these fuckers, but they keep seeing me. I'm so upset. Just leave me alone, guys. Just leave me alone. It's like I'm playing Dark Souls again. All right, Jimmy, take care. What you having for dinner, though, before you go? <laughs> T3, I agree. Yeah, I um, I don't I don't speak much on like controversial topics just because uh, I don't. I usually don't have a lot to say because I'm not really well informed, but the NFT thing just got so out of hand. So many people were upset about it for so many various reasons to where eventually I just said, you know what? Let me just look it up. And while at a surface level, 
there are a handful of things that you might could consider to be like cool about it. You know, like I think it'd be cool to have, you know, gear in a game that is only yours and nobody else's. Like that's cool. That's a level of customization you can't technically have whenever everybody can make their custom gear in the game. But at the same time, it's not worth all the fucking environmental damage. Like, that's the only cool thing I could think. And plus, you can do that in, in Animal Crossing anyways by uploading your, you know, like, your image or whatever. Um, so it's just not worth it. Like, there's one tiny thing that could potentially be cool. Now that being said, I'm not in the business of attacking people on Twitter about it. Like, if you if you like them, cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack you. You know, live your life, do what you want to do. I'm just not going to buy in, you know. I, I will have nothing to do with it. NFTs of the future, there's not the monkey art thing. When I was reading about the blockchain, I was kind of like, this might be, this, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it definitely felt like, okay, this is, this might be where things are headed down the line. So I will, I will give, I will give credit where credit is due there. It, it, it may, there may be some merit to that if there can be some sort of something said about the environmental stuff. But again, even though I have done research on it, I, I haven't done so much to where I can see into the future. So I don't know. But, um, all right, Jam, take care. Uh, so much is stolen. From, yeah, exactly. What I, what I hate is the people that are clearly into scam, which is, which is true. They're scammers. The first time anything gets started, they're scammers. Like when credit cards first came out, when debit cards first came out, and people didn't see the reason for cash anymore. There were people scamming people in that regard, you know? Um, there's always going to be people that use it as a money grab, no matter what new thing it's going to be. But I just don't, I just don't see it. Um, you know, our, our grandparents were all pissed off whenever debit cards came out because they, they just wanted to carry cash, you know. My dad, to this day, who is almost 80 years old, still carries change in his pockets so that he can pay exactly what he needs to anytime he goes to the store. You know, change is scary, and I'm sure that um, it's possible it is the future, and we are all sitting here just resisting the change. I don't know. Uh, even though I have done research on this, I haven't done enough to really be able to tell or forecast what's going to happen, but all I know is right now that the cons currently outweigh the pros, in my opinion. Work got canceled with me tomorrow, Poggers. Oh, let's go, Shanky. And make it cancel for me too, depending on what our weather does here. Um, if I never share a Minecraft seed, it is, it is functionally unique, but I didn't have to spend money in a massive quantities of energy to mint it on a blockchain. Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Like, the idea is cool, you know, to, for it to be truly unique in that regard. That is cool. That is enticing. But currently, the way it's being done, like you say, is, is terrible for the environment. And, um, and it, it, it's just, there's too many loose ends with it right now. It's not worth all that. But, who knows, down the line, maybe it'll be... You know, before we used to, end, we used to, um, I, I, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, so I may be incorrect because I'm not into construction like that, but we used to like use asbestos in houses for, um, for certain things, you know, like, uh, the, there's a movie, um, The Holiday Inn, we watch it every year at Christmas just because it's like a Christmas movie for us. And, um, there's a, there's a scene in that movie, and it came out in, like the 40s, it's an old ass movie. There's a scene in that movie where, the, where there's snow, it's snowing. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Um, they were sprinkling asbestos. That was what they were doing, just fucking up everybody's lungs. So, there, of course, there's always, like, shitty iterations of stuff before things take off. Maybe one day, you know, the NFT blockchain thing will make sense and will be much better for everyone. It won't be so easy for people to scam, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe one day it will be different. But um, it certainly ain't now, as far as I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were just sprinkling asbestos. No big deal. <laughs> Same as my dad. Yeah. Old dad. Old dad squad pog. Change is scary. I imagine someone screaming at Nichols. Yeah. Yeah. I, I imagine there's an iteration for, for, for that, you know, in every generation where something comes along and you know, the difference is, is like debit cards in this metaphor. Um, there was nowhere near as many, like, at least as far as I understand, there was nowhere near as many actual issues with that, you know. I think I just came from this way. Yeah, I just came from this way. There's a lot less cons with that. 
all right, Dr. Sophie, uh, you're going to you're going to get me on another controversial opinion here. Um, I have not watched a single episode of The Simpsons. I'm sorry. And, and it's one of those things where I have heard it talked up so much. There, there are video essays out there that I greatly admire that swear that show is like a masterpiece in so many ways. I don't understand. And, and it, I, I, look at, I look at it like I look at One Piece. Like, I would love to watch One Piece, but I'm so far behind now that I'm terrified to begin. I'm terrified to start. Like I, I would love to, to be in on all the all the jokes and all the references, but I I am so so far behind. How could I possibly ever catch up? It's been around so prevalent. It, it has. My parents never really let me watch it whenever I was growing up, and I never really wanted to. Like it just didn't. The look of it didn't appeal to me. Um, I watched a lot of cartoons growing up, um, but I just never watched The Simpsons. The same way about Rick and Morty. Would love to watch Rick and Morty. At some point, might just break down and do it. But like, it's just that I'm so far behind. Uh, and I play a ton of games too. And I, I also am like active. Like I do lots of. Uh, right, I used to not so much anymore. Used to do a lot of physical activity and stuff. Oh, a chair! I need one of these. Great. Okay, awesome. Um, you want to back up so I can see the chair? Look, he's gonna back up. No, he's not. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> look, bro. Look, they're gonna see. Look, okay. So that you see what's happening here. Watch that. Okay, so this is a prime example. This is a cool thing they do in this game. Look at him adjusting. They don't want you to ever have that awkward situation. This is a cool little mechanic they've added to this game. They don't ever want you to have that awkward situation where the Pokemon are like nose to nose, where it's all awkward. So they naturally. The Pokemon will, I've seen this happen several times, they will spread out such that they are at a proper distance to battle so that it makes sense. They always want to be like a certain amount apart. But when you're up against a legend, which is great, that's fantastic, good idea, it makes the game seamless and all that shit. But when you're up against a thing like this, where it's a ridge and, and like the Pokemon can't quite calculate where that right distance is, it just kind of, <laughs> it just kind of fucking like waddles back and it's like, I don't know where to go. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I can't get to that point. So, that's uh, my little thing on that. Maybe at some point I need to watch The Simpsons. Yeah, we're talking about The Simpsons, D3. I know, it's been a long since forever. It's older than I am. FOMO vote reverse, yeah, exactly. It's Bruce says it's largely non-linear. Episodes don't have much meaning. Going. Okay, so there's no like long con, yeah. I kind of figured that would be the case. The earlier seasons are better, maybe so. Because it's still going, right? Like, that show, that, that's what's fascinating to, to me about it, is that the show's still going after, what, 20 plus years now? They have a One Piece Kai, interesting. Hmm. Oh my god, could you imagine, Shinky? It'd be the worst. So I guess this is, this is the final position we've landed at. Alright, um, I just want this charm, so what I'm gonna do is I don't want to poison it. That may not work so hot. Let me give it just a rock slide, a basic rock slide, and then I'll have two turns here. So maybe Okay, perfect. So now I think I should really get it. But I need I need a chair really bad because um one of the missions calls for it. So my bladder is beginning to fill. My bladder is beginning to fill with with the fill of the future. Great, so we got that cherim. I need more though, because I think I might have to have the whole page filled out. Yep, there it is. Great, this is awesome. One pace. <laughs> Show with all the filler. That's what I need, really. I really just need to read the manga. That's my usual solution. Yeah, so let's see how he backs up. Now look, there's no problems here. So like, now they're good. So that's, that's a thing that they've added to this game. I saw, um, <laughs> I saw a clip. Of, a, of an Onyx doing what that Cherim was just doing. He was just kind of like wobbling the whole time. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just jamming to the party. <laughs> just realized it's midnight. Oh, damn. It is only almost six here. So you're six hours ahead of me. You are six hours around the globe. Let's do, what did I do a second ago? Rock slide? Yeah, basic rock slide. All right, Kanye, be good. Hey, 
We're doing another Smash stream in the future, and I will be ready. I will be in mid-season form, and I'm going to get that clap back. I'm going to get that rematch. And it may not be as Lucina. It might be somebody else. Wait, this is... Oh, Cherim changes during the day. That's right. That's the whole thing. Donk. Asshole. Donk. Fate Zero is fucking fantastic. Is it? Oh, shit. He's got three health left. Surely. Surely this will do it, right? I watched... God, how far did I get in Fate? No, Re-Zero is what I watched. Not Fate Zero. Oh, wait. Cherim is a one healing, not me. Oh. Oh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, the Fate series is something I am terrified to ever consider doing, but... I think the most I watched the first episode, or I watched part of like the first episode. I, I watched somewhere in that series where someone, where someone told me to start. And it was just someone like covered in bugs, and I thought, all right, this I'm gonna come back to this. This may not be the, the <laughs> this may not be the day to watch this. Come on, I just want this thing to be a little hurt, just the right amount of hurt. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. My belly's starting to scream at me. Just get caught. Just get caught, please. Now, speaking of crazy long series that have no ambiguous, or that have ambiguous starting spots, I'm watching the Monogatari series right now and having quite a good time with it. I'm so confused by it. I can't quite tell. I think that's why I'm so fascinated. I'm just trying to figure out what it's about. I'm trying to figure out what the point is. Um... I, my favorite part of the show, fuck. Uh, my favorite part of the show is just the interactions between Aragi and uh, and uh, Shinji Gahara because they're just so interesting on screen together. The way they interact is so quirky and fun, and they always like challenge each other in really interesting ways. I don't know. I just I think I just really like watching them interact. Everybody else, the, the sisters, and the, 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 I don't know. I can't decide how I feel about that, but. What's your new favorite show? Mr. Clara? Um, Sarah says the watch order is not as complicated as you would think it would be. Interesting. Sarah says almost everything written by uh, this dude is fantastic, unfortunately. That includes, <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's my, my, and I'm watching Nisei, Nisei Monogatari right now, which is like the second part of it. There's there's controversy on that watch order as well, but um, I uh, I'm I'm having quite a good time with that show. I'm about to cash in my chips here pretty soon, man, because I'm running out of things. Let's go. I just can't keep people alive. I wish I could sneak and catch Pokemon like I have been able to. Like, I have been, but... but yeah, Monogatari is great. Episode 7 is amazing. Um, the car ride conversation was one of my easily one of my favorite scenes in anime. I had so much fun with that. So, like, that's, that, I think that's what... I think that's another reason it keeps me around, because there's so much about it that is like, what the fuck am I watching? And there's other parts where it's just like, this is incredible. It's like I stick around through the weirdness of the fan service just so I can get to the sweet fucking... Good, good scenes, you know? Hmm. I can't. I'm sorry. I need a snack. Hang on. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Potassium squad. Hmm. Attack on Titan is one I really gotta watch. Especially with the new season out. Um, I haven't seen, I've only seen like one and a half episodes. But the, um, I saw a meme earlier that was, um, I saw a meme earlier that was like, uh, what people think of the Attack on Titan's about versus like what they really think it's about. And it just confused me. I was like, oh, 
oh, damn. I, I, this is not what I thought it was about. Um, we got to get a potassium emoji. We're just a banana. And, like, my face <laughs> from that stupid Dark Souls scene. Mmm. -hmm. Bro, I got it. I'm gonna handle. I'm gonna handle that bronze ore. I got it. It's over. I'm gonna sneak up on it and catch it. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to sneak up on it. It's gonna maybe activate it. Oh, what's up, dog? He's just gonna <laughs> wait. I can just talk to him like he's a bro. Oh, I guess there is a banana emoji. What's up, Chief? You good? What's wrong with you? Is that your friend? Does he want me to go get his friend? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Shanky. <laughs> I guess I'll go get his friend. I don't know. Okay. So I go try to get his friend, maybe? No, just... Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, uh, is your little buddy over here all sad? Oh, what's wrong, pal? Are you all alone? Yeah. They forgot my fries at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm not very happy about it. Oh, it's hurt. What's wrong, dog? Fit as a fiddle is a good is a good phrase. Oh my god, this banana is tasty. Perfect. Let's go. And that is exactly what I needed was just to heal up, get some items. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So let me let me heal up a little bit. A little bit of heal. Heal up a little bit. A little bit. See now I'm like now that I've said it out loud. I want to watch The Simpsons. I really do. So let me deposit some shit. Move all. I'll move all at once. I'm saving all these rare candies, not these rare candies, but all these experience candies because I want to, at some point, figure out what like my final party is going to be. And I might want to try competitive. I, um, but then again, like I don't know if you could even battle people in this game. I don't know. I have a lot of things I want to do, so I'm saving a lot of stuff. I can't decide, mostly because I don't know what it looks like, but I can't decide how much I want to play this game after the... After, but, after the post game, like I don't know if I want to shiny hunt. I don't know if I want to try to maybe pick up battling. I just don't know exactly how I want to play this game once it's over. The office, yeah, I've seen a little bit of the office. The office is kind of cool. I haven't seen too much of it. We watch a ton of um, New Girl. That's our that's our like comfort show. We absolutely love fucking New Girl. It's so it's so good. Uh, I can get ten. That's all. My iron chunks and my tu my tumble stones, bro. I started to say Toblerones, but that's not right. Sim <laughs> Simpson stream win. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so we've set up a little camp. Um, let me save because uh, I don't have a set to auto save because I don't believe in that in Pokemon games. All right. Um. So we came from Datadoy. Datoe. I miss the Uganda Knuckles meme. I wish it was uh, still a thing. I hate that memes die, so I hate, I hate that memes have such a short life expectancy. Like, I don't... I'm just starting to enjoy a meme by the time it vanishes. I know I'm weird in that regard, but it's very true. I just... I, there's nothing to hide behind. There's no grass. There's no nothing. Like, that's what's the problem about these bronze on things. Something to hide behind. A 
Okay, he's gonna get caught. Okay. Pick this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, straight up. Oh, I got, yeah. No, Ultra Balls, you can craft them. Ain't no problem. Come on, turn around. Turn around, boy. Joel. Statue of Liberty looking. Liberty Bell. Look at itself. Let's go. That was a clutch. I did not expect that to land. Uh, or for it to stick. I thought he'd kick out. All right, turn around. I can't. Where's his face? Is his face the part with the eyes? That was not us. That was. That was not said out loud. Whoa. Oh, oh, he see me. Oh lord, I'm stuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, hang on a second. Let me uh, make a little lap here. Since he sees me now. He sees me see him, and I see him see me. Upright base? What ending was rushed? I missed it. What what ending are we talking about that was rushed? I'm so curious, because I know a thing or two about rushed endings. Darling the Franks. There's one show that felt like I had a rushed ending. Well, let's rather try. Which one do I want to hit him with? Let me try to see if Walrein can tank him. How about your mother? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Um, I have not. I've watched very little of that show. Let me hit him with the motherfucking liquidation, bro. Let me wash his car. I'm gonna take him through the drive through <laughs> He really is. I know a thing or two about rushed endings. What a great double entendre. Um, I guess I'll liquid liquefy this dude again. Oh, but don't be, though. Ow. Let's try this again. Liquify my boy. Wake up. Fine, 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 fine. Have any scrubs? That, that, why? I feel like there's someone's that, someone has to have done an essay on like why, or a video essay on like why rushed endings are so common. <laughs> What's up, Steven? Yeah, man, this game is, are you talking about me or you? You didn't put a you didn't, shit. I killed him. Um, you didn't put a me or you in there. Are you ready to this game or am I? Because I know the truth is with the, I know the truth is the truth for me. But uh, are you? Because I know I damn sure am. Both of us, brother. Oh, one hundy. One hundy. Look at that. See how I put a little lob shot on that bronze on. What's good with you? Now watch. They're gonna spread out. Oh, there's two of them. Look, they're all gonna spread. They're all gonna get in position. You see how that works? Um, let me hit it with a... I think a regular flamethrower should do it. How did you... I have been missing so often. Let's go, Steven. <laughs> My shit might get uh, canceled too, but I can't play all night. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I, I procrastinated it all day. My actual work. Did I miss again? If I missed again, I'm never picking up this game again. It's trash. I missed again. This is the last try. If I miss here, I never want to speak to anyone again. Simply hit him. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, man. Y'all stay safe. D3 says I stopped playing for two days now because I just want to play all weekend, just a little bit further. I feel that. Uh, it's funny, right? Like, um, that whole mentality of, you know what? I'm going to have a ton of time later, so I'm just going to go ahead and indulge myself. And, like, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna have the discipline to wait until then so that the experience is even greater for me, you know? Come on, Sylvia. Oh, she's fairy typing. It's steel, that's bad. What am I doing? Why am I like this? Hang on. Maybe I go Shadow Ball. I got two back to back. Maybe this won't quite kill it. I can catch it. Oh, perfect. 
Beautiful. Bup. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Don't you dare. Thank you. <sighs> well, I get stressed at this game. I get so stressed at it. Okay, so I catch one more. Oh, shoot. I catch one more bronze on. And I'm all set. Maybe I hide behind this rock and see if I can get him to ignore me. He sees me. It's too late. Are you Pokemon Alphas? Um, two of them are. I have the, my Wall Ryan is an Alpha, and then my um, what is it? What's the other Pokemon I have that's an Alpha? My Rhydon is an Alpha. Let's hit him with the Shadow Ball. See what happens. And okay. That's fine, I can be asleep. I don't have to be awake to throw a ball. So let's go items. Hit him with the ultra. And this probably should wrap up the bronze zone data page, I think. Are you an alpha? Absolutely. Depending on what we're talking about. If we're talking about bowling, I'm not the alpha in the room. I can't bowl worth shit. Let's talk about in a room full of content creators? No, not even close. We're talking about... <laughs> We're talking about who knows the most about the, the Cars movies? <laughs> Is me, Chief. Just kidding. Um, Sigma Pride. Let's see. Shinkapoosh's uh, my theory on rushed endings is because they focus often, so often on making references to the past and not telling a coherent story, wrapping up things when some things in life have no real ending. Maybe uh, let those loose, th uh, loose threads hang. Yeah, you know, maybe so. And, and, and I'll say this too. I don't know. I think a lot of it is the nature of how media is published to, you know, television, contract, et cetera, et cetera. Like, a lot of times you don't, you know, you, you don't know if you're going to get renewed for another season or not. There's, of course, the whole thing of, um, like, the, like maybe you're trying to catch up to the subject matter, like, with Game of Thrones. Like, Game of Thrones was not finished whenever Game of Thrones finished. There's a problem there, you know? Which is why I get I get a lot of comfort in knowing that shows like My Hero Academia, apparently the ending is already decided. So I, I like to see whenever stories know they're going to end and then actually end. Um, instead of dragging things out. But yeah, a lot of times the studio or whoever is publishing is, is just really wants to uh, uh, keep it keep it going. You know, they want to keep pumping money into it. And of course that changes plans. And so that's how things get rushed. Shanky, thank you so very, very much for the sub. It is uh, an honor to have you as a 10 month member of the uh, of the Bench Tower. Full Metal Alchemist Centers of Chat. <laughs> Not inaccurate. Full metal, full, uh, blah, 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 blah. full metal Alchemist Brotherhood, though, begs to differ. No, as I understand it, my hero is still going, but the ending is decided. Like, apparently the writer uh, has decided how it's going to end. So that gives me comfort. If it's true. Could be wrong. Benji's, <laughs> Benji's already a month old. <laughs> Keeping you up at night? The manga's rushing towards the end. Oh, it's the, we're getting close then, huh? Ooh. I, how, how many seasons? Were, what, six seasons? Like, this last season, it felt like we were... It felt like we were coming up on some, like... We were getting to, like, the main arc. It felt like we were getting to where we're going to end up, almost, you know? So that wouldn't surprise me if we were actually getting close to the end. It's feeling about that time. Uh, let me go ahead and blur this so y'all can get spoiled to any story. Not blur it, per se, but... <laughs> I wish y'all had seen that. Um, okay. <laughs> it zoomed on, uh, it's, it zoomed in on my face, like my character's face, and he was just, <laughs> he looked like one of those, um, he looked like the monkeys that, like the monkeys and the, the chimpanzees, when you show them a magic trick and they're just like, oh, 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 you know, um, she's so, I can't read this to y'all, spoilers. Um, this dude's sight, let me just say this real quick. Let me just say this real quick. This dude's sideburns. Legendary. Oh, y'all can't see this. Um, nuclear take. I'm fucking loving the end of the... I fucking... Yeah, there's some people that swear by the end of the, by the ending in the original FMA. 
there are some people that absolutely love it. And I think it's because the series was so popular leading into it that people were just like, whatever. It's weird, but this is, you know. Even uh, even the guy that, that voices Ed um, has said, like, you know, I enjoyed Brotherhood, but I will always have a really soft spot for what we did in a really original Full Metal Alchemist. And, you know, I, I adore that. I, I think there's there's a beauty in that of, of understanding that... Um, that even though this is not the correct ending, or maybe if it was rushed, it might still do it for you. The fact that you could still enjoy something like that, even if it wasn't like proper or whatever. Uh, I, I respect that. I love that. I love that it's an option to be like, yeah, but the original was better, even if it was actually worse and you just really enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed this one more, whatever the case may be. Okay, so I'm battling this dude, it looks like. Okay, so FMA came out before the manga was finished, so they kind of like fillered and then eventually just steered into the skid and finished the series uh brotherhood actually went like word for word with the manga not word well it, it cut out a couple things that were like a strip extra but it, it it ended the way the manga ended which i i loved i think that's his hat there's no no, no bullshit that is not his hat there's no way that ain't his hat no way look at this that is, there's no way. That was a badass way I could always Pokeball. Did you see that? He said, Fight me, bitch. Oh, I got a scratch mark. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with that motherfucker. Oh, I don't have Psychic. I thought I had a Psychic move. But I have Fairy. Fairy will also do. Fairy's pretty good. Aw, oh, yeah, dog. Just cure that. Blisk oh, this guy has more than one Pokemon. This is new. I'm so used to them having one. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. That's pain. Can I get out of here by doing some damage? No. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her alive. All right, you can't do shit to ride on. It's <laughs> part of him. Okay, so it's like some Jotaro shit where like his hat is blended with his body somehow. What did he just hit me with? God, I didn't think it's true. Let me just double edge him. Let's see if this just knocks him straight out. You can. Yeah, you can just be like, no, don't hit him. Don't hit my Pokemon. No. Oh, right on turret. I fucked up. The recoil got him. Uh, well, right, sure. No, don't hurt my- oh, fuck, you got me. Okay, so, yeah, don't, don't recommend that. This quirk is cool sideburns. He can convince anyone to do anything simply by caressing his sideburns. Oh, yeah, why don't you bring me that remote off the countertop so I can change the tan channel? Yes, of course. I don't know why the person would have a voice like that. I don't know why he's talking to Starscream from Transformers. Yes, of course, Megatron. I don't know. Starscream was more like, Oh, Megatron. I'm here to blow you right now. Well, I, mean, you know, I don't know why he'd say that, but <laughs> that's what I remember him sounding like. Um, oh, shit, I can like, continue to just wail on this dude. Um... The show Tucker art. Oh, it, was that the was that the little girl? I don't remember the names in that show at all, Steven. But yes, both both ones did have the oh god, that was the worst. Sometimes you battle during your Pokemon. Sometimes during during battle your Pokemon watches you like he's waiting for your command. I love that little detail. Yeah, and if you fight the <laughs> if you I hope I can find I'll I'll try to find it in a minute. I'll try to find an alpha Pokemon in a minute. But if you um if you fight an alpha Pokemon and your Pokemon dies, like, let's say I'm the alpha, right? And I just killed your Pokemon, right? So here I am. I'm like, <gasps> your Pokemon dies. <laughs> it just it just turns and looks at you like, <laughs> don't. D3, do not mention that fucking Edward shit in here. All right. I fought him. Cool. Oh, man. He's about to get into some real spoiler territory, isn't he? War flashbacks. <laughs> you got the...
you know. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I really can't show all this. This is a big time spoiler. Why are you looking like? Why are you looking like Karen from Nisa Mount Katari? That's exactly what this. This is exactly what this Pokemon looks like. Play the flute. I'll play the flute. Here we go. Yes. Oh, yes, Doc. I, I, I have watched Elf and Liate, or however it's pronounced. That was my first, like, raw-ass anime. Cause, because it... When I, and when I say raw, I just mean, like, it would kill. It would be gruesome. It would stomp on your heart. That was the first time I ever just watched an anime that just fucking, like... Had me with my hands up and not knowing how to feel about anything. Growing up on DBZ and Yu Yu Hakusho, like, none of that prepared me for that. But yes, Elf and was a lot of fun. Flashback episode that... Oh, the flashback... Yeah, the... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is that Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> Oh, so now I oh I can't really ooh this is gonna be tough to to not spoil this because this is a power this is how I get up walls ooh how am I gonna do this without y'all seeing bro Sonic and Knuckles what are we looking at oh I can't, I can't really show you all this this is kind of a spoiler can I spoil a Pokemon for y'all this is this is this is a part of the game that you this is how you ascend mountains. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what was did you ever watch? Um, what was the show that I really liked in high school with Death Lord Death in it? What was the name of that show? Fuck it, I'm just gonna show y'all. I'll just keep it on screen, very minimal amounts of time. Um, what was that show that I watched? It had Maki or Maka or whatever her name was, and she was she had the scythe. Soul Eater. Y'all watch Soul Eater? I haven't got to that part yet? Okay. I am going to I'm going to attempt to keep the what I what was just there off screen. Not Death Note, no, it was it was Soul Eater. Soul Eater was cool as hell. I uh I quite liked that show. Hello. Soul Eater was cool. The theme song. Oh, oh. oh. And you know what's funny about that is like I remember nothing. I'm, I'm I'm wanting to expound upon why I liked it, but I remember nothing about that show. Uh, I, I remember none of the characters. The only thing I remember was that was fucking awesome, and I loved I loved uh, watching it. But I remember Lord Death or the fucking Grim Reaper. I remember how he was all like, "I'm gonna be nice for the kids and have kind of a fun little voice like this," and yada yada yada. But then when it like when things got real, he'd be like. All right, bitch. I'm done playing with you. Like <laughs> when, he, when, he, when he hit the swap, when he hit the character swap and turn and turn into like actual the Grim Reaper, it just changed everything. I just the dynamic was so clean. I'm just he, you, you picture him as this kind of cool guy, and he's just like, oh, you know. But the fact that he, the fact that he can remind you, like, oh yeah, oh he's actually the fucking Grim Reaper. That shit slapped. Um... Sophie says, um, Corona awakened feelings in me that I didn't know I existed for another decade plus. <laughs> Which character was that? I don't remember. I did, I remember I liked, um, Professor Frankenstein. Like, he, that was a really interesting character. Hang on, let me, I'm trying to do this without showing you guys what is going on here. Okay. And then we swap back. There we go. See, this is fine. This is fine. It's all working out. Just, just, just hunky dory. Got a little something, something up here. Was Krona the character that, that like appeared in the church? The pink, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes, I remember Krona now. That's what I thought, but I was like, is that? I don't remember that character. Yes, one hundred percent. Very interesting character. There's a jo oh, we're gonna catch this motherfucker. Right. Oh, I'm so excited. Watch this shit. Watch me. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch. Are you watching? Open your eyes. Use your, use your pupils. Watch what I'm about to do. Hang on a second. Look at this. Look at this. 
It's over. Oh, for sure, D3. I got you. No, there's nothing worse than spoilers. No problem. And it, it's so easy for me to just do that real quick. Watch this. Watch. Are you watching? Open your eyes. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Watch it. Uh. Let's try this again. I'm just going to just ignore that. Go ahead and... uh. <clears throat> Go and wipe your memory. No, no big deal. Nothing. Not a big deal. Here we go. Let's get it. Watch this. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me fucking just right, just right down the goddamn gutlet. It's okay. I still got four more tries. Still got four more tries. It ain't nothing to me. I'm trying to catch him in the back so that he... Excuse the fuck out of me. That should have landed. It went through him. I'm trying to catch him in the back so I can get the backstab. Get that guaranteed. All right. No, it's cool. No, it's cool. I'm gonna run out, dude. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. I want this mag magna magneton from uh, from uh, Undertale. I want them. Let me get some more of these. How many can I get? Oh, I can get a bunch of these. Okay, we're we're, we're fine. I want this. Not a sh sh Steven. No, <laughs> don't you dare. I actually played high school uh, uh, baseball. I was a pitcher. I know what I'm doing. Ha! Excuse me? It hit him. You're wiping off your arms, bro. You hadn't done shit to be sweaty or wet. Just 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 catch this thing. Thank you, damn. Come on. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Come on. <laughs> we could play this game all day, dude. I will talk to the RG gods. At some point, they will grant me a W. I can't believe this is happening right now. This is what Pokemon has come to. There it is, baby. Magnazone. Optimus. <laughs> Optimus Prime. That was another voice that was supposed to come out. I'm done doing impressions for today. Felt my soul cringe. RNG go brr. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I will, I will pray to RNGs this all day. I'll make it happen. I really was expecting it to be snowing in game by now. Do I have what I need for Haunter? Haunter X Haunter? No, I don't. Caught at night, defeated, defeated with dark type moves. Oh, that's that's a wrap. Hang on, who do I have that has a dark type move? Luxray. All right, that's a wrap. Let me get my points on these guys real quick. Come on. Oh, I got two of them. Let's go. Two birds, one stone. Two ghosts, one crucifix. Oh. Has anyone ever said that? Is that a new, is that a new sentence? Come on, baby. Be awake. Let's get it. Okay, that's going to count as a defeat and as a defeat with a dark type move. That helps fill that shit up quick. Boy, my bladder is about to burst. Damn it. No. No Haunter. Haunter is gone. Is it Haunter or is it? Which one am I killing right now? I have no one else with a dark type move. Damn it. It's fine. That's what we got revised for, baby. Revives R4. See him back up. I'm telling you, man, it's a thing. It's a thing in this game. Yeah, my priest says that too. <laughs> really? <laughs> Two ghosts, one crucifix. I gotta go watch Ghost Stories, a fucking amazing anime. <laughs> Right, let me get my Luxor right back. Let me get my ride on back. Just so I can keep getting the experiences. Perfect. Oh no, 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 no. Don't don't leave. I need to fight you. Come back. There we go. 
Yeah. All right, baby. Don't. No. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the last. <laughs> the fucking ghost stories. <laughs> oh, what a gift. What a. I mean, just just bless those people for doing that. They didn't have to do that. They could have just. They could have just mailed it in and just got the paycheck, but they were like, "Now nah, let's do something kind of silly. Let's have, let's have a good time with this." Actually, hang on. Where am I on this map? Where can I? The right way to go is that way. There's a satchel. Okay, I need to. I want to go this way. Let me run up this direction real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and blur this real quick, so y'all don't have to worry about the the spoiler Pokemon that's t dragging me up these walls. Um. Hang on. This is a really cool Pokemon, actually. I I respect it. Come on. Are you going to do it, or? There we go. Okay, and we're back. And we have some more of these guys up here. Go ahead and knock him down. I should have checked what I needed first before I started just catching willy-nilly. No. Damn it. I So quickly do I become in pain. No. Let me just do this real quick. Let me see what I need. Alright. Caught. Caught without being spotted. Defeated. Defeated with ice type moves. Okay. I got a thing. I got something to fix your ass real quick. I got a solution. I'm going to take you to Dairy Queen. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to order. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up to the menu. And I'm going to walk up to the guy behind the counter and be like, Hey, listen, man. My friend here, he would like... A blizzard. He would like an Oreo blizzard specifically because he likes Oreos and he likes ice cream, so he wants an Oreo blizzard. And he's gonna say, "Okay, man, uh, what size would you like?" And I'll be like, "Listen, he wants a large. So I'm buying. This is my friend. I want him to have a large Oreo blizzard. So we're gonna go in there. And the second they turn that fucking machine on, there's like, I'm just gonna take his head and fucking shove that shit. I don't know where that was going, or where that came from, but thank you for indulging me. I think what I'm trying to say is I want ice cream." Let's go. Um, let me see if I can catch this. This fucking dude. Surely you want an orange berry. Who doesn't want an orange berry? He says, ooh, let me get that orange berry, bro. Yeah, let me get that shit. Now let me throw this to the back of your goddamn neck. No, oh, I missed a little bit, but that's okay. Come on. Can you see me? I'm behind a tree. <laughs> oh, I love, oh my God, the blizzards. Incredible. That's too far. Um, let me try the, oh, the, oh, I'm out of wing balls, that's why. Okay, let me see if I can sneak across here. Oh, she, she, fuck those eyes, dude. If I can catch you without being seen, that's gonna be really big for me. Okay, cool, get caught, get caught. Get caught, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, blah, 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 blah. I feel like the game has much better AI to hit you with the strongest move they got to. Yes, exactly. Like they don't do, they don't walk up and do like a, you know, like a stat buffing move and then do two in a row, and then you know by then you've already killed them. Like it actually does try to fucking kill you, which I respect. I don't know if I want this, this this business or not. Oh, I'm hurting. Oh, I'm hurting. I got plenty of research points. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want this anymore. I don't want this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> God, I'm so stressed right now. No! No, I've never died in this game. Oh, all my shit. All my shit's on the fucking floor. Oh, I like all that, though. I gotta go get that. Back. Okay. How do I get? Is there? How does this work? Can I get back to my bag? I think it's gone forever. I think it goes to someone else. And I, oh. <laughs> okay. I might be done for the night. Honestly, I've had a lot of fun, but I gotta pee and. 
This was impromptu stream anyway, so we don't have to go the full length. I gotta end on a W though. I gotta end on a W, so let me see what I can do. Is there anything cool I can catch around here? Maybe I'll just see a shiny real quick. Can't wait for the Elden Ring PC mods to take these models and make all the enemies be Pokemon. <laughs> that is going to be a thing, isn't it? That is going to be a thing, not you mentioned. I'm so excited for Elden Ring. My God, it's going to be a great time. Well, let me run up here real quick. Let's see what's up here, and then I'll call it a day. Wrong button. Let me run up here real quick. I don't want to spoil this guy. And then we go back. Okay. Uh, more fucking carnivines. Exactly. Oh, no. Wrong button. Maybe there's... No, I'm not going to... We're just on the edge of serving the greatest giant Pokemon me uh, memes ever. Oh, straight up. I'm so excited for Elden Ring. It's going to be amazing. That might be something that we stream as a one-time thing, just to kind of break the game in, you know? How do y'all feel about that, by the way? Like, obviously, this stream, me as a streamer, what my whole shtick has been is like playing stuff that I haven't played yet, but everyone recommends I play. So how do y'all feel about when a game drops? Do you want to see me play something when it just comes out, even if it's a one-time thing? Would you rather I just stick with what I usually go with? Be curious to know y'all's thoughts. Oh, this is that Bronzong area earlier. Right, because I got kicked all the way back. Uh, I think I was... I wish it would tell me where I died. I think I was up here. Let me just run down the hallway real quick. Not for anything, says Sophie. That's kind of how I feel about it. I, I just am down for anything. I, I just... I imagine we will all have a lovely time regardless of what I'm playing. Hey, now... This is a new area. I think this is what I was looking for before, but I was just trying to cover all my bases. No. Nope. Oh. First impression streams, so as long as it got you. I got you. So you, you want it to be like my first. You, don't, you never want to see me just like streaming some shit that I've played a million times over. And me showing y'all a game that I've played or whatever. I understand. Do I have what I need in right horn? No, target right horn. Uh, okay, I do need defeated, defeated with grass type moves. Okay, so let me do this. Let me go. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. Okay. As long as, long as, as long as there was a banana consumed somewhere in there, right? Kill it. Yes, great. That's true, Shanky. As long as I'm having fun, then you guys are going to have fun, right? Right? Oh, no. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No. How could you possibly see me? You acehole. <laughs> I went to Dark Souls over a second. You see me dodging? I thought he was about to hit me. Okay. Let's go. Magical Leaf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Chief, you like that? I just kick him one time. Uh, yeah, but I think I will probably Elden Ring day one play with y'all. Just because it sounds like <gasps> Okay, here we go. Here's our here is how we're gonna end the stream. Here's your main event, everybody. Fuck, that's not it. Oh, you sleeping? That's cute. That's real cute. Get the fuck over here, please. Alright. How do I sneak up on this fucker? Perhaps he would like a berry. Everybody gets hungry every now and then. Even giant fucking steel worms. Yeah, go get that berry, bitch. He ain't gonna get it. He wants it now. Oh, but it, it vanished. You waited too long, bitch. Okay, hang on. Turn that fat ass around, bro. Turn around. Turn around. Yes, sir. Fuck. <laughs> no. Damn it. No, he can't see me. Don't worry about me. I want this 
fucking Steelix. Steelix is one of my favorite Pokemon. He nodded at me. Like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Turn around. I don't understand how he stands up so top heavy. That's Bruce, why'd you have to ruin my favorite Pokemon for me? But you're absolutely right. How does he do that? How does... Uh. What? Come on. That was monkey shit. Whatever. I'm catching this fucker. D3 says, I have a question. Don't we all? Yeah, but do you have an answer is the better question. If you had an answer, I would be more interested. He's running with that magic lead. He's rock and steel. Oh, I thought steel was also re right? That head bang, though. Uh oh. And if fairy is bad, it's gonna be in steel. Great. Oh my god, that would be terrifying, wouldn't it, Sophie? Alright, Ty. Go on, Ty. Is it possible to make a nuzlocke in this game? Someone's gonna figure it out eventually. Um, it, I think it has to be... Someone's got to emulate it, though. I'm sure it's very much possible. Uh, I don't know. I think this flamethrower would not kill him if I went full beans on it. I just got a feeling. If it kills him, well, it shows over, folks. Well. <laughs> I don't accept that, though. I don't accept that. I got to, I got to come back. I don't accept that. But I might have to. Hang on, let me, let me, oh shit. Let me go heal up real quick and try that one more again. Because I really want to catch him. I want to rest. Yes, just a little while, thank you. Steelix stands up using the same magic powers that let it spontaneously create matter to perform certain moves. Nyx makes a good point there. Um, my thought would be, as someone whose wife is currently studying to become a chiropractor, my thought would be that the manner in which he stands cancel is like the same reason a spine can, can support your body upright. Um, and that it's like folded under itself, like it has, a, it has the curvature of a, it has the curvature of a, uh, of a spine. Like, so it's, you know, it's kind of like that S, you know? And that's how it distributes its weight correctly. That's my guess. I think it may be too late. I think he may be gone. I think I may have fucked it. In which case, we'll, we'll have to call it a night. But I really want to catch it. Is it there again? Ah. Uh, bro, he gone. Bro, he gone. What if his top half's just hollow? Even better. Even better. What's that? What's that Onyx doing in the distance, bro? Okay. Let me see if I can rainbow shot this shit. If I can land this, I'm happy with my day. And fuck you. He ran. Okay. I think the Steelers is gone. I think I still have to pee. I think it's game over. I think I'm done. I think I need to save this game before I fuck around and lose power or something. He vibing. <laughs> he is vibing. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me tonight. It was a good time. I am going to call it a day. Uh, hang on. Let me do this thing real quick. I'm going to call it a day. Yeah. I'm out. Uh, oh, we have to burn it one more time. I'm going to go pee, as is usually what I do. I'm going to go watch wrestling. I'm going to try to stay warm. It's supposed to be especially cold tonight. So if you're anywhere in the world and you got some crazy weather going on, uh, I hope that you pull through it. I hope that you don't lose power or anything like that. And uh, <laughs> you're right, Shanky. I need to leave that damn Onyx alone. That Onyx is having a good time. He just he just buy them, bro. He good. He just, mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's just having a good time. Uh, he's he's rocking and rolling. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Hey, thank you for being here. Hope you have a lovely week. Next week, despair. Next week, all your hopes and dreams go away. Next week, we will experience a lot of horny teenagers trying to kill each other, as is supposed to be the case. I, or maybe that maybe I don't know. I, I don't know the subject matter of Dongarampa Two. I don't know how Monokuma is still alive. I don't know how. 
I don't know what that pink weird Monokuma was. I don't understand. Look at the icon. I don't understand the icon of this game. What is what is this? What is this? What is this? What does this mean? I don't I have so many questions. So we'll have a good time next week. So thank you for being here. Thank you for the stream. Sarah's Nandari, Sophie, Shanky Poo, Nix, D3, Fiernan, um, Tony Pony, everyone else that was here earlier. T Tony Pony. Guys, be good. Have a lovely week. We'll see you next week for some, for, for some despair. And we'll also see you, not this Saturday, but the next for a new Psycho Play. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to uh, it's going to be about a very normal game called Inscription. A little spoiler for you. So take care, guys. We'll see you soon. And have yourself, as always, a damn good one. Bye, guys. <laughs>